Coming up on Monique Rose. Happy birthday, Kim S. I hope you're having a good time on this day, your birthday. Now go and do your chores, Woman, you filthy you know. animal. <laughs> you filthy you little, animal. <laughs> you filthy animal. Filthy <laughs> animal. <laughs> again i don't ever want to hear from him ever again we're done we're done you're watching monique rose on youtube no i'm not feeling better why you why you fucking call me now when you're supposed to call me in the last two fucking days you've been going on a fucking date then at 10 30 at night you tell me you're not gonna be able to call because you're still on your fucking date are you fucking serious I really think you're nice. going to treat me like that? Treat you like what? I was being nice. I'm not going to be fucking treated like something that's just fucking trashed up. These fucking pieces of shit you're going on a date with down there. Fuck that. What do you mean? What do I you mean you're a lot fucking about? better than that. We're not dating, Lauren. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. We'll see. That's, that's the root of the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're 44 seconds in and the Lord has described the problem with this call <laughs> we're not together this should matter I don't give a fuck alright judge uh, do you understand why I need this restraining order <laughs> this call never gets old Like this this is, I, one this of is my favorite call of all time yeah I can always listen to this one because Lord, Lord knows he, he knows that this is stupid but he doesn't care do you think he does? I mean, I feel like this is like the most pathetic where you have to beg a woman for a chance to be with her. Like, okay, after this two hours, if she was like, oh, fine. Like, is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Me or Lorne? Lorne, anyone. Well, I mean, yeah. Lorne, specifically. I feel like Lorne, why would you want that? 
Yes, because Lauren still thinks in those in those tropey terms where you break those romantic comedies where the guy has to break the woman down like, until she realizes that he's the one. Like Urkel, dude. Like Urkel spent years going after yeah, Lauren. Guess what happened on the last? Guess what happened at the end of Family Matters? That bitch I wasn't got allowed married. To watch. That bitch. Well, yeah, you weren't allowed to watch black cinema in your home. But let oh, me break it down. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> Blue boy. No. Um, no. <laughs> at the end of Family Matters. Uh, they they end up getting married and blue and blue boy and Urkel goes to space. Wow! So... I need to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's what a twist. And that's why are we <laughs> watching this? Why are we watching Lord of the Rings? <laughs> watching that? Let's just watch Family Matters and just talk over it the entire <laughs> time next week. <laughs> we were we were fucking together before when you took me away from fucking winning. Yep. Oh did everything God. you could to take me away from winning, and you fucking did it. I knew you were doing now that. Now you don't want me. You it. got your fucking date down there. You're fucking by. Oh, Lauren, <laughs> come on. What? What? Lauren, come on. Let's both come be on, what? here. Let's have you really? be a normal person. Really? And actually be able to have a conversation. Instead of holding someone to some kind of a regard that they they haven't even said that they wanted to be at. Come on, you fucking said it before. Don't you then think all that of a sudden you're you didn't want me? Don't you think that you're better what? than this? Don't Do I think, think I'm better than better for you? Yeah. No, that wasn't Don't what was asked. Don't you think that you're better than this? This behavior right now. Love this. You have to think that you're better than that. You, I, this is, I don't this is like being played with at all. Who is I don't like being fucking you? played with at all. Who is playing with you, Holy shit. Who's playing with you? You are. <laughs> when? You when are. did I play with you? The time when I said we weren't point. together? When I said we, I wanted to be friends and I wanted to help you just like Emma does? Yeah. Was that playing with you? Bullshit. Yeah, the, the playing with me was fucking Winnie too, wasn't it? What? When what you took you me away about? from fucking winning. Did everything you could to get me away from winning. Well, you I fucking got said, me. Oh, you want to go yeah. back to winning? Go and get yeah, her. Yeah. And there's go your fucking her. buddy, buddy, fucking Angelo, the piece of shit of all pieces of shit, had get to have her. fucking hanging around you. <laughs> now you got these other cocksuckers and fucking dating down there. Don't even give me a fucking chance. Throw me to the fucking curb last night. Good occur. fucking job. Lauren. Lauren. I've told you, I don't even know how many times that I want to be friends with you just like Emma is. Why can't I be like her? Why? Because you're the one that fucking started it the other way. Lauren, but I... And I fell for you, you didn't fucking fall for me? Well, fucking what? You're not going to play with me. Well, here's the thing, Lauren. I'm not obsessed with you like fucking Angela. I told you that I wanted to be friends with you. I told you before that unfortunately I flirted with you and I shouldn't have done that because look what yeah, happened. You flirted with me. You, look what happened. Fucking full of shit. You did more than fucking flirt with me and you know what? No, I didn't. I'm not even. Aware what have any kind of fucking conversation with you about this? What's up, Wood? How do you? How does she do more than flirting over the phone? Well, considering that he would put, he said putting a toe in a pussy was flirting. I don't know. That's true. We have very different definitions of flirting. I mean, he toe banged a, a, a young a woman in a mini skirt with her hair teased up to the heavens with LA looks extra hold <laughs> hairspray, oh, and that's just good old fashioned flirting. Think, toe in the pussy, good old fashioned country boy flirting. Uh, what <laughs> she did, way worse. Because all you do is deny bullshit. Deny what? Bye. What am I denying? Lauren, where are you going? What? Are you crying? I'm fucking pissed. Why? You don't want to give me a fucking chance now that you already fucking stole me away from Winnie. You tell me you were just flirting. You're fucking full of shit and you know it. But I told you that five You're fucking lying. Things. So don't ever fucking and say I that you didn't lie. And I apologize. And you apologize for, for said, flirting and, with me. And you you did more than fucking flirt with me, and you know it. What did I do besides that? The whole fucking time you're in the hospital, it was all me. Lauren, 
No, 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 don't fucking deny it. I was hurt and I was on a lot of medication. So no. Oh yeah, so take fucking drugs before you give me a chance? Of course. Are you fucking (laughs) kidding me? (laughs) Of course. Of course I have to take drugs. That right there should have been the end of it, Sean. The delivery delivery is so per like, you know, fifty piece piece of shit. Uh, but that delivery is so perfect. I think what would make me the maddest if during this call if I was Lauren is it sounds like she has a smile on her face the entire time. Like she is just enjoying his misery. Oh yeah. You know, like he, he's she knows why he's upset. She knows it's ridiculous, but like it still is it's amusing to her. And instead of him being like, You're fucking enjoying this, fuck you, you're not gonna play games with me, he's gonna convince her to, she's coming around because she's still on the phone with them. Just a matter of time till they're married and he's he's up in space like Urkel. No, you're not kidding me? Do it! Then I'm not kidding about this. Bye! Oh, no. <laughs> Boom, take that. Up on me again? I'm just going to have to call you back. What? It's really rude that you hang up on me like that. You shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, well, it's really me. rude that you call me at 1030 at night when you're still on your fucking date. I didn't call you. I that texted you. That you fucking you ditched me for. That I was not going to be home on time, and I didn't want you yeah. waiting up. Did you? Did you still on your fucking date? Mm-hmm. Lauren. You fucked up date. You can't even call me and have fucking time with me on the fucking phone. But you can go on every a fucking date every goddamn night of the fucking week. I'm not on a date right now, and I'm calling you. Oh yeah, yeah. What a good time to call me when I'm all pissed off because of the bullshit you've already done. <laughs> so like, she really can't win. No. Because she went out on the date. She went out on the date, which made him mad because she wasn't home to call him when he wanted to. But it wouldn't have mattered because she went out on the date in the first place. So he would have been pissed regardless of what time she called. But he shouldn't be pissed off because they're not even dating. That, but that that's neither here nor there, Spot. They're not dating right now. Did, did you not hear that they liked each other previously? Oh, that he still like her. He holding out and waiting, but... She keep giving all these other motherfuckers chances. They're working on getting back together. After she took him away from... I, I like how he also mentions the taking me away. You took me away from... This is a grown-ass man talking about being taken away from someone. Well, why don't you take the stick out of your ass and not be so angry? Why would I not be angry? Well, you shouldn't after be. The way, after the way you made me fucking feel... And the way that you fucking wanted us to be together. I didn't make taken you me away from feel Winnie. anything. I didn't make you feel anything more. Oh, b- bullshit. You must, you fucking felt shit for me too. Otherwise, you never would have wanted to take me away from Winnie. Yep. I didn't take you away from Winnie. Bullshit. You ditched her. Yeah, That's you did. Problem. Yeah, you, you did. did. You'll never leave her. You're devoted to her. I don't sound like that. Do that I? was a bone that sounded almost identical. Not going. I could tell. Uh, I don't sound like that, do I? <laughs> Tiffany, don't think I remember. Don't that. never leave, huh? Why does she sound like Catherine Hepburn? Yeah, I'm just about <laughs> it. <laughs> no. Do I sound like Tiffany? I thought she was here for a second. Yeah, no, I don't sound anywhere near stupid enough. But like, you, you get it. Like, <laughs> oh my God, can I please have tomorrow off? I can't smell like hot dogs tomorrow. <laughs> that type of thing. I remember a lot of the shit that was said, do you? Um. No. Things that are important to me, I, re- I remember quite well. But Lauren, as I said a thousand times, and I really, I really want to. I work just want to be you. friends, and right. I want to date every guy so down why? here. No, Man, he's I good at that. He really is. Oh, bullshit. That's not true. Bullshit. Bullshit. You don't give me a fucking chance at all, do you? Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a lot of shit going on, and I'm trying. He said to- you want to give every fucker down there a chance, and she said. That's not true. And he said, but you don't give me a chance. But, like, but you're, you're not, not even down, down there. there. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, not only did she say she's not dating every guy down there, but you're not Lord even down there. The point. He doesn't even know what he's mad about right now. He's just mad. Right now, he's mad about the fact that she made him mad. And that's all that matters. She hurt his feelings. Who do you, who do you think hurt his feelings more? Uh, Tiffany going out on this date or the maybe prostitute that turned down getting murdered in the shipping container. Um, hmm. I don't know. Probably this, honestly. This might be the most, like, because Tiffany, or, like, the Debbie character wasn't, like, a like a prostitute or anything, so Lauren thought it was, like, wife material. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm sure getting rejected by her hurts a lot more than getting rejected by a prostitute. I don't know. I, what, so yeah, I don't think that. Tell us. Think... You've been rejected by prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I have many a times. And, um, be, I, you know, believe it or not, you know, all money is not good money. And you just can't, you know, that's for another time. But, yeah, he, um, I think you feel worse by being rejected by the prostitute because it's like, how dare you yep. as a homeless prostitute exactly reject my good construction you know built shed i got out here like actually you know, that's fair yeah I she was that. a homeless and it even turns into a song but yeah I, I also think back at the time with with tiffany he had more options he felt like even if that fell apart he can go back to winnie you know maybe maybe ember would come around like ramona might come back into the picture uh, but but with the uh, with the prostitute, like he's he's down on his uh on his last love legs, you know. So yeah. I, th- I think that might that might have hurt more. Uh, and guys, joining us now is uh, is TLI. Good evening, motherfuckers. Yeah, um, late on President's Day, but we won't talk about that. Yeah, Just what were you I don't doing? The presidents. <laughs> That's <it. laughs> and their decadent way of life. Yeah, they're, they're those decadent elites up in their ivory tower. <laughs> it's about time right, we're about, cut them down. We're about six minutes in to uh, Tiffany telling Lord no. Oh, great. Hell yeah. Trying to help you out like a friend should. I'm up in, I'm up in Maine and you can't fucking trot your ass up here. And you can trot no. your ass all over the United States. You can't trot your ass up here. I can trot my Because I'm not worth it to you. She's not moving. Because I'm not fucking it, worth like, it to these other places. Like, yeah, she can travel wherever she wants. He wants her to move to Cornville. Oh, my God, Blue Boy, you're so small-minded. Before what? she can move there, she needs to go visit there to to see the place. He's just, he's saying, Blue Boy, if you don't plant any seeds, you're not going to grow any fruit. Have you heard that before? No. All right, well, because I just came up with it. But, like, he's saying, we want, girl, I want to grow this love fruit with you, but we ain't going to do it if you don't plant no seeds. You need to get your ass on the plane Come up here. Get rid of all these fucking guys you're fucking around with down there and come see a real man up in Maine. Country boy strong. I'm going to do you all night long and we're going to get along. That's what he's saying. Wow, he's, not dude. saying move, he's not saying move up here right now. He's saying come up here. Let's get this shit locked down. Let me rock that body the way that only I can rock that <laughs> body. And then you're not, you know what? It's going to be funny because you're not going to want to go back. I'm, I'm going to have to put your ass on the plane and tell you to go home and get your shit because you're not going to want to leave. But you're going to have to book it, too, because I don't have any money. But you'll be happy <laughs> to do it, because I'm going to do that. Did you not hear how I'm going to do that body right? <laughs> Quality costs money. I'm I'm not saying I'm doing this shit for free. I mean, from helping Lauren book a plane ticket from Maine to California, that ain't cheap. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sure it's not. But if she's, if she's down to do this for love, then she's not even going to consider the money. All right. We'll just have to do things for you that I have. Well, I have to prove myself to you somehow. That's fucked up, dude. Well, I'll do that. You fucking took me away from somebody that I fucking gave a shit about. That doesn't make I sense. I didn't take you away. Then Obviously, I, then you I, didn't then I gave, give you, a shit. gave a shit about you. Obviously, you didn't because you would have stayed with her. So why are you blaming that on me? So I wanted to give you a chance. I knew what Winnie was uh, was doing. I knew she was having a hard time getting away from the drugs. Now I was tired of her. Okay, but you're then that's on me you for taking right. her away from you, and that's not what I did. But I wasn't obviously, gonna leave her. Obviously, it was wasn't your gonna. Choice. It was. I wasn't, it was. It was my choice. Yeah. To give you a chance, and, or to stay with Winnie. He has a pattern of doing things he wasn't gonna do. Right. Funny, they just seem to happen anyway. <laughs> he was forced into this. Right. This is. It's all. It's all under duress. Nothing is ever his fault. And he just says it like it's so natural that, well, things weren't working out with the one sister, so I was going to be with the other sister. Right. And you said it was fine, so you can't take <laughs> it back now. And then and then this is the same family that later he was going to get with uh, the, the the niece, right? I thought that was before this, because wasn't he with Winnie at the time? I thought this was... Yeah, yeah, that was before this. He already wait, got wait, wait, the wait, wait, wait. The Rhoda thing was before this? I think they talk about it in this call. Oh. Right, like he yeah, tried to fuck my niece, like that kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and he was on to catch crazier. a predator. The thing is, you're on to catch a predator. You are on to catch a predator. You can't go around fucking sisters and then trying to fuck nieces. But that's why you, not? I'm saying because he was on to catch a predator, Blue Boy. That's. But she took him from her. 
<laughs> You're not listening, Wes. <laughs> he wasn't gonna get away from her. What? I didn't do that, you did. Well, it was obviously a mistake. I don't know why. I don't know why. All the other times, uh, you know, the other times you're on fucking dates, you're not mistakes. <laughs> so stupid. Does that make any sense? Please tell me. Yep. I want you to explain that to That's you. Me. How does that make yep. sense? How? How does it make sense? I'm on a date, so I can't I can spend time with you. A date's more important. Got him. Well, no, you said that every time I'm on a date, that's not a mistake. It was last night and the night before. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. So she's supposed to plan her life around Colin Lauren. Like yeah. I said, you have to be better than this, right? No. You want to see if I'm better than this or not? Give me a fucking chance. <laughs> you don't listen no, to no, anything no. that I say, obviously. All you try to do is find these little signs that I give oh, a shit. Christ, man. Oh, you you want to see if I'm better? Me? Commit to me long term. <laughs> You're just looking at the short time we spun together. You gotta, yeah. You think spun? Go father. Yeah, father. Spunk. We spun S- together. S P U N T spun. I that like was, that. I'm sorry, using that. It's spun uh, together. Hey, fuck that! What happened to that money I gave you? I spun it. See, spun it already. <laughs> I spun it. all that shit at Chunky Cheese. Um, that's what black people call Chunky Cheese. <laughs> They're gonna play their Nintendo and then go to Chunky Cheese. <laughs> And I'll play they Star War. <laughs> <laughs> they Star War. I go to the Chuck E. Cheese and I play they Star War. <laughs> happy, happy Black History Month, everyone. Oh dang it! I forgot it's still Black History Month. I'm sorry, y'all. That's all you should know me as. Like, what the hell, man? You give me a chance. Like give you're giving all these other fucking know. guys a chance. Give you a chance for what? To see what's between us, because there's obviously something between us, because we oh, get along obvious. fucking awesome. Oh, it we'll sounds like fucked it. up reason, I respond to you like I don't respond to anybody else. Yeah, it really, it really sounds like we get along really well. No, well, we actually do. Yeah, I know. Except Looking for right now, when you go on fucking dates and leave me fucking hanging. I can go on dates. I can do whatever I want, Lauren. We're not dating. Yeah, do you understand? You can yeah, I you, understand you it. You can be without me, too. Be without oh, no. you? What? I'm without you now. <laughs> there is no <laughs> being with you. You don't There's understand. None of that. You, can be without, you can be without me in your life. But why? Why does I have to be that way? Why can't, why? Why can't I be because like you're giving, Emma Because is, you're giving right? all these other fucking guys a chance, and you're not giving me a chance. Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a bunch of... Hey, so real quick. we T.L.I., were you here when we watched Corrupted Justice? No, you weren't here. Um, Sloth no, Cat and Blue Book, so. Corrupted Justice, the the ABC 2020 documentary that slammed uh, Perverted Justice and To Catch a Predator. Do you know that that show aired 10 days before Lorne started his chat log with uh, Kayla? No fucking way. That's so hilarious. if he just would have been... I yeah, had no if he idea. Just been, if he just would have been watching this show... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes. 10 fucking days before his chat log even started. Hey man, was just oh. too anxious, man. He could <laughs> he had no time to watch TV. He that is only just Lawrence used luck, to, huh? Isn't it? He, he was probably out that he, he was probably out that night karaoke um instead of at home watching ABC twenty twenty. I mean, he was in Maine. He traveled to the sting. Like to the area where there were bus and yeah. pedophiles. Yeah, he moved That's crazy. There, moved there supposed to, I believe Durango Mango put a curse on him when he ripped her off. And she had some witch doctor Look, put a curse on Lauren, and that sent him down to be close enough to the sting house. Right. What are the chances oh, of that? Oh, he's definitely cursed. Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah, 10, 10, 10 days before his chat log starts, they air that thing, basically blowing apart to catch a predator, everything they were doing. Look at his face in this picture. Yeah, well, <laughs> he knows he was cursed. Is he wearing a watch? 10 days. I don't know. It looks like he is wearing a watch. A little okay, Folex Lauren. on. That a boy. Impress your child girlfriend. On. You have so much <laughs> so stuff what? on so your what? plate. You well, I'm not I can out. tell time. You need to I'm not out. I'm not worth trying to fucking go through this yeah, shit I'm with. Digital. As a friend, of course, and that's what I've been trying to do, Lauren. That's what I've been trying to do, and you will not let me do that. Every single day this shit comes up for you. 
Every single time I have to prove that you're some fucking special person, that I have to prove somehow that you're more important than my own life and the things that I want to do so that you feel better about yourself. And that's fucked up. No, your life is very important. I These know fucking it. dates are not important to me. They, they fucking suck to me. I don't. Okay, fine. Then they suck to you. Fine. Start crying, Lauren. Because they're not a fucking do... fair chance for me. Yeah. That's true. Lauren, there is no chance. You are up in Maine and you have probation. You have your sex offender class. You have a bunch of stuff that you have to figure out. I have to there figure is out. That's no the, chance. And I, I thought you were the one person that could fucking handle that shit. Yep. And do what? I be can there with me. You. I can still help you deal with it. You still help me while you're all fucking some other fucking guy? You think I'm going to fucking be around you for that shit? Lauren. Are you fucking kidding friends, me? Friends typically don't care who the other one is fucking. Well, yeah, well, obviously, uh, you're more than a friend to me. But I'm telling you that and it's I didn't more fucking than a do friendship. That. Yes, um, you did. You're doing obviously, you're more than a friend to me, but I'm telling you constantly that I'm not. And, but Lauren doesn't want to listen to that. It's just, it's crazy the amount of times that this man can just, why, if he would have, like, if you could take this kind of rejection, you have a career in sales. Seriously, actually, it is a, it is a talent. It really is. If, if you can take this kind of rejection, like, if he wanted to be an entertainer of any kind, like, this is the kind of attitude you need to be able to have. You need to be able to have doors slammed in your face and be told no and try and turn every no into overcoming sir, rejection. sir. For the hundredth time, we don't want the Kirby vacuum. Yeah, but you know what it works better than the other leading vacuums. You know that, right? You know the, the funny thing is, Blue Boy vacuuming is actually the least of the things the Kirby vacuum cleans. Now let me let me come inside. I'm going to show you how it's going to shampoo things. <laughs> right, let's see. That's give that's, me a chance oh, to show you. you. Give me a fucking chance. You got another. You got a fucking vacuum in there right now. Yeah, we have a vacuum. Oh, so you think that fucking vacuum's better than mine? We don't want one. Give it a fucking chance. And eventually, eventually you buy it just to get the guy out of your house. Mm -hmm. I really do think, though, like, tell not telemarketing, because holy shit, this man on the phone. But if he was <laughs> willing to put this kind of work into into some sales, he could be making actual money. Because there's real money in sales, and you're never going to be replaced by AI with, with, with in-person sales. Go ahead. When, when he was selling the the tickets to the Beatles cover oh band, God. did he, do you think, did he make any sales? Did he no, ever I say? Believe, no, dude, I believe 100% he got fired because he wasn't making, if you're working in a commission versus draw a type situation, you're either going to make whatever minimum wage is or commission, whichever is higher. And if they have to pay, or, or uh, yeah, minimum wage or your commission, whichever is higher. If they have to pay you minimum wage, because you're not making enough sales, you're going to get fired. Someone so, out there has talked to Lauren about buying Beatles tickets. Well, I believe hardly anyone talked to him. He um, probably got hung up on a lot because you're, you're calling people around dinner time and you got this mumbly, this mumbly dumb fuck reading off a script because it's all script. <laughs> it's all script. And, and he, you know, he didn't even want to be there. I don't, how did he end up getting that job? That's what he's I all drunk like, as shit too. Well, I mean, he's he was a construction worker, a guy working in in. You would think he would be able to go anywhere and, and get some kind of job, manual doing manual work. How did he end up telemarketing, selling Beatles tickets? I I have no clue. Because he's never gone to a job back to a job like that before. What was it about getting? Because he he hadn't been in Nashville long. So what was it that got him there and made him think this is the job for me? He just took whatever he can get at that point, probably. I don't, I don't know if he took whatever he could get or he looked in the... Because those types of jobs are normally listed under general and the classifieds, and they would say something like, wanted 10 guys to make $10,000 a week to replace 10 guys who didn't want to make $10,000 a week last week. And Lauren would, would read the $10,000 and be sold on it. Yeah, that's it. And, and he's going to go in there and they're going to tell him... Because they'll basically bring any warm body in because you might be good at it. Uh, and if they have to pay you that minimum wage, you're not making sales, they're, then they're going to let you go. He didn't tell his boss to go fuck himself. He maybe did under his breath after he got fired. Oh, yeah. So that, what did he say the reason he got fired was for? Didn't he for, tell her? He was, he was walking around talking to people. and oh, that yeah. probably He was he probably, hitting on people. Well, I, I, don't, I think he was probably mind. just walking around trying to be Lorne the funny guy. Lorne the, you know, the jovial co-worker. You know, hey, hard, working hard or hardly working. And you can get away with that shit if you're the top, you're making sales. But if you're not, 
you're not going around there like joking around with people uh playing grab ass they're they're gonna they're gonna talk to you about it so i think he got fired because he wasn't making sales and he told his boss go fuck yourself quietly under his breath as he was being escorted out of the building but some company has the recordings of lauren talking to people over the phone yeah and they use that in the training of what not to do example of what not to do (laughs) This man, of course, later went on to star on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> Doing it. Because yep. I'm telling you, You're the one that like fucking that. brought it on. No, I didn't, Lauren. Yeah, you did. Your behavior is what a psychopath does. You're a stalker. Really? Yeah, you're the well, type of guy. Really? Does, does a psychopath do this? Down, Go ahead and fuck your guys. Down. Bye. You're hang up again, you little bitch. Does a psychopath do this? What? Okay, here's where you're going to be normal. And you're not going to hang up on me and play this little well, game. I'm going to do what I want to do because you want to go off fucking other guys. Go and do what you want to do, of course. I've never stopped you from doing anything. So what's really going on and why are you taking that out on me? What's really going on is it's all about you. It shouldn't be. I was fucking fine for them, so I found out you're on a fucking date, and that's a reason that you didn't, didn't fucking call me last night. You've known that I've been going out on dates. You said that you didn't want to hear about them. I didn't I didn't think that you were going on all that many dates, and I didn't think that I was going to get fucking pushed to the side because of some fucking cocksucker. Well, he's not a cocksucker. That's number one. And then number two... Oh, oh he's not. So, is, well, how many fucking dates have you been on with this guy? It's none of your business. You, you asked that question really? on the first day. Any information. Obviously. That's- what was that? Well, he, how many dates has she been on to find out he's not a cocksucker? Don't I usually tell girls on the first date. I save it. I like to leave mm-hmm. a little mystery for the second date. <laughs> By the way, I'm not a cocksucker. Yeah. What about you? What about you, Sloth Cat? I never have been. Never will be. On a date? Yeah. So... Boom. Oh, how you handle that? Well, if it's a casual thing, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> See, obviously, more than I want to hear, and more than you want to tell me. So you're, are you you're, up? you're fucking. Are you up? Are you you're protecting up? Are you him. Up? Are you gonna hang up? You're, you're protecting him, saying he's not a cocksucker. How is that protecting anybody? <laughs> You're sure fucking defending oh him, my flaw. Oh, I'm defending He's not him a cocksucker. Oh, my God, Lord. He's not a cocksucker. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> What's so funny about it? Could you have to spend time in person with him? Well, because well, you, you don't with me. That I'm defending him because I say he's not a cocksucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you know he's not a cocksucker? How is... Oh, God, Lord. If she's well, not actively insulting him, you know? it's on his side. Right. Yeah. But, Lauren, you have sucked a cock before. Yeah. Well, 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 well I think he got his sucked on, right? Uh, well, well according to Lauren. Come on it's now. Right, right. Yeah, oh, right, right. Allegedly. He was watering it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know for a fact that I'm not. I'm homophobic. No. That tells you that I'm not. <laughs> that tells you. You could be. How about this yep. guy? You know, he, you know he's not, not a cocksucker? You don't fucking know, do you? <laughs> Who cares? I care if I'm going on a fucking date with him. You're That's not, not the kind of person that I wanted. Oh, my God. You're so silly. What's so silly about it? Do I have feelings you're, for you? You're and just because you fucking dumped dump me because you're on a fucking date I with this fucking dog dump fucker? you. How was I able to dump you? If somebody's not with you, they can't dump you, right? Whoa. You fucking ditched me because you're on a date with this cocksucker. I didn't ditch anybody. Two nights in a row, you fucking ditched me. I was being quite nice by telling you that I wasn't going to be home. I didn't give you any details at all because you have said that you didn't want them. So I didn't give them. I wasn't going to be home. I didn't. Oh, when he, when he gave I to didn't. Me want you to be sitting there like some loser waiting for me to call. So I decided to text you and said I wasn't going to be around in time. Yeah, because you were out on a fucking date with a cop. And I was, oh yeah, exactly. I was out on a date with a cop. With a duke. With a duke? 
That's what Winnie said. With a duke. Not a prince, but a duke. <laughs> what? In your, in your pizza Help bikini. Me out here. What is a duke? They can... uh, it's, uh, it's a... Um... I mean, I know what's like a, it's the title, yeah. What, the, like, the, what does the Duke do? Well, like the Duke of Earl. It's a Duke. It's like you know, there's a Duke, there's a Prince, there's a like a arch, yeah, arch. He duke, does the stuff the Prince can. Ferdinand. Where's this guy from? The Duke. Yeah, he's an Earl. All right. Where's okay? <laughs> Making a cock and balls out of fucking meatballs and spaghetti. <laughs> Was That's she cute. watching me again? <laughs> oh my god! Did you show your cocksucker date? Yeah. What you were making with him? Did he start drooling when he when he uh, you made the the dick? You know he did. Out of spaghetti? No, he laughed at it. He laughed at it. He said, "Yeah, I stuck something look like that last night." Is what he was thinking? Did you make it curved? No. <laughs> oh, you made it straight? Yeah, I made it straight. Why well, was it straight? <laughs> it's none of your business. <laughs> Oh, so you know already. Dude, he made up a scenario and got mad about it. <laughs> Did you make... <laughs> oh, so you know about it? <laughs> like, no, just most people don't have curved, bent penis. <laughs> no matter what she said, she would have been in the wrong. Like, there's right. just no right way to answer that. If she had said, yes, I made it curved, he would have thought that was, like, the sweetest thing ever. Like, so you do want to give me a chance. Or, or but like, how would that mean that his dick wasn't curved, too? Oh, that's a good point. It's more than one curved dick in this world. Exactly. I don't know. Talk well, about you some know? Ben Dick fools over here. You know? <laughs> I'm not telling you. You know who's the straight? cocked bastards. <laughs> How many dates you been on with them? It's none of your business. Oh, good. You are neither my boyfriend <laughs> nor my father. So you can go fuck yeah, off. Well, yeah, well, whatever. You can hang up on me? You can I don't up. fucking you can care. Hang you can hang up? You can hang up? I don't fucking care. You're the one Good. to fucking. That's what I wanted. Get all this you to shit. Say. I don't care. I wanted you to say I don't care, so we can move on and actually have an adult conversation. Yeah. Well, you know I do fucking care. That <laughs> is the problem. I'm pissed because you don't want to give me a fucking chance because I'm up in Maine. Yep. You You're don't up want to trust your little fucking ass up here to see me. Okay, well. You're on probation. You don't want to. You don't. Know, you don't. Know, I'm a so what. I'm on the fucking registry. Who gives You're a fuck? You're an alcoholic. Yeah, who gives a fuck? You're an abusive Minor thing. motherfucker. You don't know how to treat people. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I've spent my time trying to help you, trying to explain Un shit to you, and this is what you do. Unfucking believable. You took me away from winning. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. What are you doing? Looking in the mirror again? Can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Can't believe what? That I'm uh, that I'm good looking? <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm good looking? Well, no. Guess not, because your ass down there going out with cocksuckers. Right. Making talks on your plate. Yeah. Seeing what they think of them. Yeah, I know. You know everything. You just fucking told me that. You told me that. That's what Winnie told me. Oh, okay. Then what you say, oh, she was watching. You? She was watching me again. What, what else does Winnie tell you? Then, he then believes you Winnie when it's like to, stuff that other people are fucking, cheating. When it's like juicy gossip, it's always it. She takes it. He takes her at her word. But everything else is like you're a lying bitch. Well, and it's it's not just Winnie. It's uh, Ember. Ember in general, because on the oh, uh, yeah, yeah. on the Casey calls when when Casey and Lauren are discussing corrupted justice, he talks about these things like all these laptops crashing and him crashing. These are things that Ember told him as part of the troll. And right. in case he even says, who told you? And he goes, Ember. And she says, why, you know, why do you believe that? He goes, because I want to. Basically, the same, <laughs> the, the, same reason, right. the same reason he didn't want to believe anything Alex Jones said, because I don't fucking like him. And he admits it. Well, I don't fucking like him. So, yeah, fuck, his, fuck whatever he's saying. Right. But, yeah, there, there was that thing where they found... Uh, his like tinder like xavier's tinder account she told him yes about, and he was like yes. spouting that for days yes so all this all the stuff about uh about xavier about hanson all these made up thing ridiculous things that to this day he probably still believes are true even though he knows everything ember told him is a lie those things were probably true date thought it was too ugly <laughs> like, uh, like what the fuck I know. Me personally, me personally, my my opinion of it would be, I'd rather not fucking see it. Right. Whatever. One of all. Okay, Lauren. Now that we got that out of the way. 
Are you going to tell me what's really bothering you? Yeah. I already fucking told you. Mm-hmm. Well, what is it really? Because it can't be that I took you away from All right, the Debbie. Way. It can't I be love that. you. That's what the fucking problem is. Oh, I love big you. Dramatic and I want to moment. Yep. yep. And you're not giving it to me. Boombox over you the don't head. Date you fucking guys down there. And you won't come up and see me, but you'll fly clear across the fucking country to support your friend in the, in a fucking band or whatever. And you'll fly all over fucking hell. He was but in you Bundy won't come here. up and see me. You won't even send me a fucking picture. Yeah, I know, because look at what you do. Look at what you do. Do you really think I'm going to fucking come try to find you? I know you can't because that would be illegal. I wouldn't anyway. But look at what you do. You're completely insane. I'm completely insane? Yes. I write you fucking poems. I sing to you. I give you attention that you fucking deserve. How can I be insane? I write you poems and sing to you. (laughs) That's it. That's it. What more do you need? What more do you need? That's all and I'm completely learn. insane because of that? Yeah, because look at what you're doing now. Look at yeah, what you're I'm doing now. Because you're fucking not giving me a fucking chance that I deserve. You don't deserve anything, by the way. And you can't force someone to give you a chance. <laughs> Why do you deserve a chance? Why? Uh, because I deserve for you to get to know the real me. I'm getting to know the real you, Lauren. What the hell? And it sucks. I have spent my time well, okay. explaining things to you, working things out with you, and it all goes right into the toilet. You don't hear anything that I have to say because it comes right back down to this. You knew that I wanted to be friends with you. You knew that we did not have a relationship. I had apologized to you up and down about flirting with you at the beginning. I shouldn't have done it because you took it way over the line. I did not know that was going to happen. If I could go back, it never would have happened because I want to be friends with you. I don't want to mess with your head. I don't want to troll you in some way. I just want to be a good person who's trying to help you. That's it. Every single time, it's like we go through this cycle. Everything is fine. You understand. And then all of a sudden... Something sets you off and you start screaming again. You start rehashing everything from all the way back at the beginning. If you care so much about Winnie, go and get her. Tell her how you feel. Tell her that you love her. She loves you too. Ain't that funny how you fucking say this now after I get feelings for you, but you fucking didn't say it then. (laughs) Say what? That I wanted to be friends with you? I told you. What? Lauren, I don't want you to be sad. Debbie, you've done enough fucking damage. Go on your fucking dates and fuck whatever fucking cocksucker you want down there, all right? What are you talking about? Don't hang up on me. That is so weird. What? You're going to start to hurt my feelings if you keep hanging up on me like that. You already hurt mine. You don't give a fuck about me. Of course I do. I don't know what the fuck you even had anything to do with me for. I I wouldn't be talking to you right now if I didn't care. Of course I do. Yeah, well, you you fucking cared in the beginning, too, remember? Lauren, I, I really don't want to have to repeat myself 500 times. Yeah, well, I don't want to repeat yourself either, so I'm just fucking ending it. Why? Why can't we be friends? Why? Why? Because, because you've fucking done enough fucking damage. But I'm not trying to do damage. That's the thing. You're taking it to yeah, that Well, level. you've done it. Why? You've done it. Why don't you see that you fucking done damage? All Go fuck your fucking cocksuckers down there. Leave me the fuck alone. Go fuck your cocksuckers. <laughs> oh and that's the, she's just living her life, and he's choosing to take it as uh, personally and take it as damage. And the more not the, her fault. Like the the more the call goes on, the angrier he gets. Right, like she's not understanding what he's trying to say, but yeah. she gets it. It's just dumb as shit. She's not coming around to the reality that she hurt him. <laughs> and she and she needs to own up to it and she, also she, fuck him yeah that's like how why is that so hard to understand you owe me two all, things all the apology love. and that ass I want those two things in that order and he wants you to believe he's not a stalker person he's in love is what he is <laughs> right that's all it is. it's a fine line but he's on yeah. he, you know he's in love he's not a stalker he's on the love side of the fence what? Lauren, come on, man. 
Debbie, I don't think one bit of anything that you fucking done to me is fucking funny at all. I'm not laughing. I haven't ever laughed at any moment of me speaking to you. Yeah. 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 What am I going to laugh about? We talked about some really serious stuff. Yeah, well, I'm I'm, I'm quite sure you were laughing last night on your fucking date while you were texting me. I'm not going to be home on time. Why would you think I'd be laughing? Dr. Amara Winnie. Why would I be laughing at that moment? God fucking knows, but you sure happy being on your fucking date. So good for you and your fucking date. Lauren, but why would I be laughing? I was being nice, and I was telling you that I wasn't going to be able to call you. It was going to be too late. Debbie, you don't want to give me a fucking chance. There's no need for me to keep you fucking hanging on, because all you've done is damage. I thought that you were getting to be a better person. Is that not true? Well, I was a good person to begin with. I just had some issues. Why can't... Go ahead, Blue. He was only pretending to be a better person for her. Now that he has no chance with her, he's reverting right back to who he's always been. An angry pedophile. Yeah, but that's her fault. She's, well, why isn't she giving him a chance? That's what I'm not understanding. Well, Because he's the perfect guy. If she would give him the So right now she's choosing to let him revert back into that dangerous person. It's, that's a it's shame. her fault that he's going to yeah. go back to drunk driving and screaming at Winnie. He doesn't want to do it. He does not want to do it, but... It, if she's going to force his hand, and she's going to force his hand. Yeah, he will if he has to. And that's that's <laughs> the sad thing is that it's really Tiffany's fault. Yeah, if just not being in a relationship is not an option. No, he needs to be with someone. Someone needs to, to hold this man's love, hold this man's heart. Well, right. It's like it's an injustice to women if this man is single. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like someone needs to have this guy. He's a fucking catch. They keep talking about how all the good ones are taken, but hello. We got Hello? one right up. Right Do you not see this teeth. picture? <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, there's a good one right up there in Maine. Just waiting. He's a homeowner. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to. You know what? You're never going to have to worry about him being out at the bar all night because legally he can't even go to the bar because he's a, a registered sex offender. He's a pedophile. He'll so, be with you all the time. You'll never be able to get away from him. He's not going to want kids because like, he can't even be around them. So, like, well, he that's doesn't want kids. Thing, well, okay, but like legally, he wouldn't be able to be around him. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, and he'll always he... be about to be getting his business going, so he's full always. of potential. Yeah, so you that's... always have that dream, the hope that's of a great point. Yeah, so you know, there's a lot of pluses there that we just and this isn't even Woman Month. This is just free advice. Yeah, just reg- regular old Monibro's advice. I am a, I am a, I am a better person. But you don't want to fucking see any kind of person that I am. All you want to do is date them motherfuckers down there and not give me a chance. No, that's not all I want to do. What, I want to go to the beach. What reason I do I have to, to fucking hang on? It's yeah. not the only thing that I do. Yeah, well, you certainly won't come up here to fucking see me, would you? Mm-hmm. Well, Lauren, think about what would happen if I did. What would happen? You would go crazy. What do you mean I would go crazy? You would go you crazy, Lauren. You, you would be so in love. You would. Oh my God. You, you would. don't really think you're the first beautiful woman that I've you know, fucking dated. She's going to fall you? in love with him the second she sees him in person. That's what he's banking on. Well, maybe not Maybe not the second. Because the way that it normally works in a romantic comedy is there would be some sort of misunderstanding at the airport that would cause mm. a, little, a little anger, right? But then they would they'd bring it back together by the end and she would realize that <laughs> all along what she saw as a brutish oafish man was really just a guy in love who didn't quite know how to explain it until he got that guitar and sang her that romantic song and then, and then she'll really fall right. in love the second uh he puts it in well because oh, yeah. it's curved so it's hitting all these spots. it's hitting all the good spots <laughs> <laughs> well number one we're not dating but I mean, truthfully, you have never had a girlfriend. Oh my so let's stop kidding ourselves right there. Right, I've had a lot of one night stands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't you're think that you're dinner. that you're the first beautiful woman that's been, ever been in my life, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, a one night stand is someone who couldn't find anyone else. Yeah, well, one night stands. A lot of more one than one night stands. But that wasn't their problem. That was my problem. I didn't want any more than one night stands back then. <laughs> that was here. my problem. Okay. <laughs> He like it wasn't them because they wanted more than a one night stand. I bet. I bet they were knocking at your door. Did they act like you are right now? Yeah. She doesn't tell me she believes him. I don't. Right, I had to roll down the window. I had to get a had to get a hornet out of my fucking truck. Oh my god. He's anyway. outside now. 
Yo, okay. my favorite is Lauren versus the Moth. I don't know. I think it's one of the Ramona calls, but he's like really upset about something. But then he gets so distracted because there's a moth. And Ramona's like, it's fine. Like the moth won't hurt you. Oh, it's easy for you to fucking say there's not a moth flying around you. You missed Sundays with Cod, but he caught a mouse in a bowl that was on his kitchen counter. And uh, Jamie's like, you really think I'm going to live in that place? And he fucking lost his mind. Oh, I got to listen to that. He got a mouse in a bowl and then he told her about it. He was like, yeah, he put a bowl over a mouse on the counter. Okay, I'm just going to give you guys a little tip. If you're trying to get a woman who doesn't live in squalor to come live in your your fucking pile of trash, maybe don't tell her about the rodents that you're catching inside the home. <laughs> he just bought a cat that. specifically to deal with the rodent problem. That's why he bought, um, what's what's the cat's name? Minnie. He named it Minnie because of the yes. mice. Na- like yeah, name it after the mouse, not after a cat. Name it after a mouse. That fucking sense. idiot. That's so, that's exactly what he named it. Of course it yeah, is. He watched too many fucking, <laughs> like, Looney Tunes cartoons and thought that was the solution. Like, let's just get a cat to deal with the mice problem. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. You get a cat, and then you get a dog to take care of the cat. Yeah. And I'll bet he fed it whole fish, and the cat put it in his mouth and threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just split it off. Like, all the bones come out. Right. All at once. Perfect. Started combing its hair with it like he's Cliff. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and, there um, it is. That Jeez. cat, for the first, like, three weeks of its life, lived outside, and it only ate moths. Oh my god. It was eating moths? Why? Because he he was like, she likes playing with moths. It's like, no, I think you're you think you need to feed the cat, bud. He's like, well she's she's gonna eat the mice. What are you not understanding? He was like, she loves it out there. And it's like, well, if you put the cat out there, it's gonna just do cat stuff. Yeah, of course, right? I'm sure it would prefer to be in the house. Yeah. I don't know. And there's enough holes in that fucking that the cat could just come and go as it pleases anyway. Right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think really, if I came up there to see you, it would just escalate, mm-hmm. and that's not what I. Would have to what? You, 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 you'd actually be able to fucking get to see me in person and start getting to know me in person. You can't even right now with us not being in person. You can't even be friends because I know you're not giving me the fucking chance that I deserve. Why do you think you deserve something? Because I do deserve a chance. Why? Why? Because you, you're the one that fucking took me away from winning. I didn't take you away. You left. Yeah, you did. How did I drag <sighs> you away? Did she I put a corn dog so on the end of a stick contact? and she hid in the bushes t- waiting for Lauren to come by. And he That's was hungry as hell. Away. Yeah. That's how you do it. But you lured him. Lured him away. <laughs> I need to find out. One of those boxes with the stick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you eating right now? Donuts. Eating a... Donuts? <laughs> a donut. <laughs> donuts. Donuts right there. <laughs> Just eating that pedal gravy. <laughs> I fucking have a big bowl of fucking sugar proving Lauren right. Thanks, Lauren. Wow. Thanks for eating a big bowl of fucking sugar while we're listening to the Lord. For lies about you? No. Kind of you'll, never, you'll never leave her. You're too devoted. Some, I bet they're powdered sugar. Are they the powdered sugar donuts. ones? Bullshit. It's no, not. they're just regular plain donuts. It's a regular plain donut? Are you a psychopath? Yeah, what do you mean? It's just bread? Yeah, just regular donuts. No um, chocolate, no powder, no cinnamon. Dry donut are bread. They, are they glazed? Donuts. Dry donuts with water. <laughs> glazed? Are they no glazed, glazed donuts? I, I am well, actually drinking water as well. <laughs> Yeah, because they sell you eating hydrate. bread and drinking water. <laughs> the gel house you're living with you. cake. You're pretending <laughs> you're eating donuts right now. A plain, a plain cake donut with nothing in a glass of. No, you're lying. What's water. on the donut? There has to be something on the donut. <laughs> There's no. It's on glazed donut. Take a picture of this donut and put it in yeah, the fucking in the, the Discord. I gotta see the fucking chat. donut. I, I don't believe you. Bowl. I need to see the bowl. Of mini cake donuts that you're eating, please. Okay, uh, this is the chocolate bad. donuts, but I want them to be plain, though. <laughs> you, no, no, you can't say you can't wish donuts. your donuts oh, another yeah. flavor slot. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't believe they're donuts at all. I don't think there's. I don't think you're eating anything. I think you're just lying to us. <laughs> he sounded like he had a mouthful of donuts. He had a mouthful of something, but I don't know if it was. Donuts. Look, it's, I'm not having a casual meeting right now, so that's not <laughs> a thing that's happening. 
Yeah, and I wouldn't do that live on stream. That's <laughs> Jesse. I'm not gonna blast to myself on stream. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not using a a copy <laughs> machine right now. <laughs> on a door. Okay, so how is that making you leave? You wanted you to leave. Skipping around the skipping around the hospital when you finally oh, wait, do on. get missed, me away from her. I missed another. Okay, but why now. do you think I'd be doing that? Do you know that that has something to do with you, or do you think maybe I was doing that for? Wanted more than one night stand back then. That was my problem. Okay. It wasn't them because they wanted more than a one night stand. Yeah. I bet. I bet they were knocking at your door. Did they act like you are right now? Sorry, I had Did to roll down the window. I had to get a had to get a hornet out of my fucking truck. Oh my god. He's anyway. outside now. Okay. He's in a constant war with bugs. Anyway. I think really, if I came up there to see hornets you, it and would moths swarm stories. around him, and that's not what I'm you'd trying to what? do. You, you, you'd actually be able to fucking get to see me in person and start getting to know me in person. You can't even right now with us not being in person. You can't even be friends because I know you're not giving me the fucking chance that I deserve. Why do you think you deserve something? Because I do deserve a chance. Why? Why? Because you, you're the one that fucking took me away from winning. I didn't take you away. You left. Yeah, you did. How? Did I drag you away? Did I change her number so that you couldn't get in contact? Did I tell her lies about you? No. You'll, you'll never you'll never leave her. You're too devoted to her. <laughs> okay, so how is that making you leave? You'll you never leave her. You're too devoted to her. What's with the transatlantic accent? He can't do impressions. <laughs> you'll never you leave her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see? <laughs> you never leave it, see? <laughs> but this is for my very good friend, Kim S. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kim S. Happy birthday to you and many more. Sherry, shut your fucking whore mouth! That just went over the air. Go ahead, Blue. You want to say something? I don't remember. Right, you wanted you to leave. Skipping around the skipping around the hospital when you Maybe. finally do get me away from her but, okay but why do you think i'd be doing that do you know that that has something to do with you or do you think maybe i was doing that for some other reason winnie knew something had that it had to do with that she wasn't stupid you know you pick and choose what you want to be the truth winnie, winnie has already winnie, said it who knows winnie's winnie how would winnie know better than her things and then oh that but sounds she's her sister. Me, so i'm gonna believe that to be the truth but it's her feelings she's not stupid uh, you don't know i never said that she was stupid never did if you love her, then go back to her. Yeah, well, I love you too. So no. now she's married and she has will. Something I never knew before. Yeah, but... So the kind, of, the kind of woman that I'm looking for is you. Someone that's honest and that I can trust. Well, I am being honest with you and you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because you're the one that fucking took me away from Winnie and never gave me a, a, an honest chance. I didn't take you away from Winnie. Why me? Why not go after Emma? She's known you for a really long time. She knows you better than anyone. She's not the same type of person that I'm looking for. Why? Because she's not the type of person I'm interested in. Why? Because she's not... I don't think Ember was young enough for Lauren to flaunt around as his little trophy prize around Cornville. No, but he would definitely have sex with her. I mean, he'd want to pick oh, up yeah. her, her boobs and stuff. He, yeah, he no. just thinks he deserves a supermodel. That's what I'm saying. Like, Lauren... When when Lauren thinks about uh, a woman the same way some people think about pets, like they don't want a, a regular, like they don't want a quote unquote regular dog. They want something that people are going to be like, "Holy shit, that's a really cool dog!" Or they want they need something fancy. Lauren wants that trophy wife, his the fuck you wife that he can take around Cornville, so everyone who ever laughed at him or doubted him or like he can show off. Look what I got. Yeah. Like yeah, I may be a world renowned pedophile, but look what uh, look what old Lauren he got here. So, and until that happens, he's, that's why that Sue woman or whatever, that she wasn't going to ever work. Like that some old woman, no, he wants, he wants something young yeah, and, and fresh that people are going to be jealous of. He said Sue was too old for him and she was 62. I think. Sue is like a plain cake donut with a glass of water. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
Exactly. You mean the perfect meal. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it is perfect. It's just y'all broke my illusion. I really wanted them to be plain, but you made me say they was chocolate. Now I know they chocolate. How did we make you say they're chocolate, yeah. Lord? We you made know, you say you, you made me do that. You know, you made me feel he insecure cast an illusion on himself about the plain donuts. And then I was like, There's man. No thing. There are such things as plain donuts. Oh, yeah, no, there are such things as plain really? donuts. They just yeah, didn't like, have them. Go to the grocery store. Go to like a regular grocery store, not the Whole Foods that you go to. And in yeah, the they big, don't have that at Whole Foods. Yeah, they'll have like a they'll have like a pack of plain cake donuts with no I, no frosting or, n- or anything. Yeah, it's kind donuts, of man. who would yeah, subject it, themselves to that? Like yo, that's the kind of shit my mommy would buy when I was a kid. My mom would buy some plain ass. Why? Just I don't know because she was a bad person. They build <laughs> It's Like why even buy the goddamn donut if this isn't a donut? This is this is an insult to donut. So that's what Sloth Cat's having right now with his warm. With his like room an undecorated floor. cake. It's yes. depressing. Yeah, yeah. No, see, That's I exactly. wish I had the plain donuts. They only had these stupid chocolate ones. And Piece it's too much shit. chocolate to for me. That's just a little bit too much chocolate. Too much, you know? Oops, too much chocolate? Yeah, oops, too much chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and during Black History Month, we can't have too much chocolate. <laughs> Speaking of Black History Month, um, real quick, I do got to do this. Bad credit or no credit? No problem. Are you on welfare or social security? Are you newlyweds? No problem. Come see us. I say, I say, I say, this is Frankie and Johnny's, a place that lets you have it with no problem. I like to buy a bedroom set. Do you have any credit? No, I receive social security and welfare. You have to see the special man. With no problem. I like to buy a living room set. Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have to see the special man. With no problem. I say, I say, see Frankie and Johnny, easy credit man in town for only $50 down if you put you in a living room set, a bedroom set today. See the special man. I got the $50. Let it have it. With no problem. I got it, I got it. With no problem. I just noticed it says credit permitting. I thought the whole thing was you didn't need credit. Oh, you read the fine print. Okay. <laughs> you should have done that. That's supposed to be when you get there and they already trapped you into something. Yeah. You gotta wait. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well. Th- anyway. Yeah. Happy Black History Month, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's I got the fifty dollar. <laughs> Same type of person that I am. Oh, you're saying that I'm like you. You're honest, even even though mm-hmm. I know I've been dishonest. I used so to be just so as honest. It's not as like you, you then. You I just needed I to get it back. I needed. I needed to, to get away from certain people. Read between the lines, Tiffany. He is around people right now who are bad influences, which have led him to this life of lying and and debauchery. But you, a good person, a good role model, your influence on him will make him to where he will be honest again. He will stop drinking because he's going to be a good person. At 50 needs... years old, you shouldn't need role models anymore. He doesn't need a role. No, he, needs, he doesn't need a role model. He needs a reason to live. Exactly. <laughs> That's what she is. That's what she represents. Man. Right now, he just look. You want me to be around the? If you're mad about me being a piece of shit, it's because I'm around piece of shit people, and that's on you. Because when you could be here with me, keeping me out of trouble, making me a good person, you're choosing to be there with a bunch of fucking cocksuckers. Now, does it make sense when I say it like that? Now it does. Thank you. I needed to get away from certain people and away from certain things. Right. And I'm getting my old self back, and I I like it. The pedophile, one. the pedophile self, that guy. I'm glad that you're happy, but Emma's an honest person too. She's Emma's not completely so honest. Well, neither are you. Yeah. So you know what? You can't throw stones at her and make it like, oh yeah, I can't be with Emma. She's not the type of person that I am. Walk around with your nose up in the air. Really? What are you doing? What? What am I doing? What are you what? doing? What? Yeah. Walking around with your nose up to the fucking air like I'm not good enough for you. Gee, you're not. Well, you're not. <laughs> oh, we do. Really? Really? Yes. Well, I say different. Okay. You don't want to find out that's, that's going to be your problem. Oh, yeah. Bye. Oh. No, don't hang up, Lauren. Please. Come back. What? 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 See, you can't tell me you're not fucking attracted to me because it's it's even in your voice that you're attracted to. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, it me too. Is. How? What do I, I can tell like? it's in your voice. I'm not the I'm not the only one that can tell it that it's well, in your voice. Can tell. What do I sound like? Why? 
job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> didn't, think I, didn't think I realized it before, did you? Yeah. I, I heard you doing that. But if he likes you, what, you say say job? if he yeah, thinks she likes you, then, then why wouldn't she just go be with you? Oh, no, no. That, that's, it's a lot of effort. This is the give and take. This is this is the yeah. give and take. If if, a, if the movie it's started out, seeds. right? Exactly for them love fruits. If, I mean, if the movie if the movie started out with them in love, Blue Boy, then and it just continued that way. Then... He's coming across like Shiloh with Sika. You gotta play yeah. it cool, dude. Don't be so desperate. If you think she likes you, Lorne, just, just let her go on dates. Play exactly. it play it cool, and she'll come around because she likes you as much as you seem to think she does. And that's the thing, like if if she knows that he likes her, right? And she supposedly likes him. So then just let it play out. Exactly. No, fuck all that, Lord. Go to our <laughs> house, sit outside, make sure she don't go on no dates with no other guys <laughs> until she give you your proper chance. <laughs> all of this waiting around stuff about. <laughs> Do I? Uh, you break the tie. What do you, what do you think here? <laughs> I think the donuts are making sloth cats. <laughs> Those the are recalling donuts, donuts, donuts <laughs> because they're making them into stockers. <laughs> mocking you. Yeah. Yeah, you're mocking me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All these little things that I do that you, uh, that you really think are cute, but you tell me just the opposite. It's funny. <laughs> Why would she do funny that? And you say it in a funny way. Yeah. I know. But all, these, all these little things that. that that you say that are bad uh, bad things about me and they're just the opposite. You think just the opposite way. Okay, well, go ahead and think that. <laughs> right. you know, no, like I'm a bad singer. You said that before when I was with Winnie. Well, yeah, you are a bad singer, Lauren. You don't do anything to improve yourself. Have you? Quit and he's been thinking about that you insult ever since singing, she said right? it. Oh, yeah. Which, which insult was that? That he's a bad singer. Like, like he he, he brought a, it up out of nowhere. Like he's just like he's clearly been thinking about that. Because it's not an insult. It's ridiculous. Well, for him it is. It's like the it's like you know an affront to his character. Yeah. Honey, first of all, Lauren, <laughs> you call out, Funny. and one of the first things you say is, "I don't know all the words, but I'm gonna <laughs> sing it anyway." And then you because the fucking nineteen eighties songs that I can't remember all the words to. You scream the songs at the top of your lungs. Half the time, I do. I put everything into sad. it. Dude, like, you know how many how many songs do you know all the words of from whatever era that you grew up, whatever decade you grew up? There are probably a lot of songs that you still know all the words to if you hear it on the radio, and you don't call yourself a singer, right? I know the lyrics to every Ice Spice and Doja Cat song that's ever been released. Exactly. Right, like there's there. Yo. The, the, what? The and we don't call album. him a recording artist, do we? The 40 Ounce <laughs> Freedom album, every fucking word. Every word. And I don't call myself a singer, but this man gets mad. But, well, of course I don't. The fuck, they're, they're from the fucking 80s. Uh, Great. Why does the decade the song released well, matter? Well, exactly. Well, like, I'm saying, okay, it, it would, especially for him, because the 80s would have been prime Lorn, him growing up, him in the he military. He was 15 or so. No, no, in the eighties, like he How was in the military he? in the eighties. Wait, wasn't he born nineteen seventy? Yes. Okay, so late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Either way, that would have been prime. Lorne would have known. He would. You would know songs from then. He would at least be able to sing all of one of them. Especially calling yourself a performer, where you're going out and this is the thing that you want to do. He sings the same three songs over again. How and he doesn't know the words to him. The song that fucking gets stuck in my head is um that song about being just friends and how that's a what is it? It's like a sing it. I don't I, I don't I don't I can't I don't I only know the, you know I only the words. Know the, no because Rami will put it in the fucking Rob Sop um Rob Sop streams. They'll just start typing out the lyrics. It's like, oh it's like a I don't you say you want to be friends. That's a oh right you're right I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, that fucking song. <laughs> and then we'll just keep talking over. It. And they're static on the radio. It's funny. Oh, so there's none of the songs that I sang to you that you like. My singing on them. All right. Well, no, you're not my what? type of singer. All right. 
seems like I'm not your type of everything. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're my type it. of friend. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whatever. Why whatever? Why, Why don't whatever? you want to accept that? You accept it from everyone else. Did you always, did you always tell me one thing and it's always another fucking thing. What do you mean? Like what? Like everything, Debbie. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not doing this. What? I'm not fucking playing a game. I'm not playing a game. Lauren, I'm not playing a game. I'm probably yeah. the only honest person in your life. This is yeah, the most honest uh, you have ever been. Completely honest yeah. Person. Yes, Go I have. Go fuck your guys. Go fuck your oh, guys. How many can I have at one time? <laughs> oh, damn it. Now I'm never going to know. What? Okay, well, the what is starting to be not as rude. So what do you want? I want to be don't want me. You don't want, you don't want me. You don't want to give me a fucking chance like I deserve. It, <laughs> he keeps you know, saying it's that. Fucking, it's fucking tired of the bullshit. So but I'm not feeding you. I'm not feeding you bullshit. Yeah, well, don't feed me bullshit. You sure did, certainly did before and you know what. I'm fucking tired of shit like that. Oh, my God, Lauren. Oh, when are we going to get past? That's what I want to know. When I get a fair chance. Well, when you get off probation and you get through your class. Just give him a chance. surgery, then maybe we can talk. Really? Really? Yeah. 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 I don't need I know for a goddamn fact, I don't need plastic surgery. Tell Tell her how you know. Well, you can't afford it, but you definitely need it, though. Like, your ears are mismatched. That was rude. Your teeth are backwards, weirdly spaced out. Your nose is bulbous and humongous. The back of your head is flat. Very odd profile. No, I don't. So what you're saying is you no, think I it's don't. cute. It's okay, no, I don't. no, I don't. It's okay. There's going to be someone not going to care. Debbie? What? I'm not going to listen to your bullshit. Yes, you are. What? Hello. What? What? What do you want? I don't want you to be mad at me. Be nice. It makes me sad. Um, um, maybe you should have thought about that a long time ago. I probably should have, but I didn't. No, because it wasn't important then. You were just interested in me a long time ago. No, I wasn't. No, you are. Of course you are. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Of course you are. Right. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Of course you are. Right. Yeah, you didn't come You didn't come three times in the fucking right. hospital. Of course you were. Right. Well, making me stay on the phone and have phone sex with you. And send right, I didn't. Out on the patio. Right, I didn't. Right, I didn't. Yeah. Right, I yeah, didn't. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're you Wasn't she like in a coma? Right. What do you yes. want? What's the matter? I wouldn't okay. can't take it. Can't take what? Huh? You tired actually of listening, tired of listening to your fucking bullshit. I'm tired of listening to your bullshit. I actually want you to act like a human for once. Do you want to try? Yeah, well, I want you. I want you to act like a human for once too, and you don't. I have been. No, you haven't. Who holds on to something when someone's in the hospital and they think something happened when they're heavily medicated, practically in a coma? And you take that and you're like, oh, she loves me. And I'm going to sit here on the phone. Well, maybe she didn't want anybody else. Whatever. I'm going to sit there and jerk off to it like a fucking disgusting freak. You didn't you didn't want anybody else. I didn't want anybody else. You didn't want anybody else around. I don't know what you're talking about because it's almost as if I wasn't even there, idiot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, you obviously don't. I didn't know you anything with your you fucking people, pathetic you friend either, did I? You don't want people to take things that you say when you're drunk. Seriously. But I can't be in the hospital for weeks and be really sick and on a lot of medication. You're going to take that and you're going to hold it as the truth. Now hold it, it as the truth because you're the one that made me and you be together. Because that's all you have. Before. Before <laughs> you ended up in the hospital. Because your mind is fucking twisted be- and mushed. Before you... Before you ended up in the hospital, you're the one that put me and you together. No, I didn't. You act like yeah, you, you did. just sat back. And you I fucking did. You up Stop your I fucking put lying, you Debbie. Me, and then Winnie, I pushed her aside. You act like that actually happened. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, the you're, one. You're who fucking did lying it. again. You're the one who yeah. did it again. Yeah, this is again. what I'm saying. I'm, again, I'm, Lauren, again. I'm tired of your fucking lie. You can hang up. Tired of your fucking lie. Liar, liar, liar. She clearly likes him. Yeah, this is you can tell. How did wind up? Just this is banter. Such a cute story to tell their to tell the family one day, you know, about how they <laughs> overcame this. I just she's so mean about it too. I don't. I just don't know why you would just keep subjecting her. She doesn't like you, right? She, she just described like how fucking ugly you are. Yeah, it's and like that's how 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 do you just keep getting up from that? 
You just keep coming back. All right, well, you think I'm ugly? Give me a chance. <laughs> Give me a chance. Being so many things wrong with the way I look. What do you mean? How did it happen? When, when you, you are the only woman that I've ever had point out anything wrong with my look. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. You cannot. <laughs> well, normally people don't I do that. I think that Winnie may have <laughs> made a list once. <laughs> oh, Winnie! You Winnie makes a list her? of everything with everybody. No, I don't want you to call her. Why? No, I don't. Because she, she, last I knew, she was on the phone with your mother. Okay. And I don't want—I don't want you. If I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you right now. I don't want a three-way conversation. Well, if you're going to talk to me, then talk to me and don't hang up like a little fucking bitch. Well, start, start trying to give me an honest chance. At what? Again, to know me and give me a chance to fucking. I am getting to know you. you, and I don't want to date you. What yeah. the fuck, Lauren? <laughs> no, yeah. I, well, I don't don't see that we need to fucking go any further then. Why? <laughs> what? Why would you think that we're together? So we were together before, <laughs> and I never got a fair chance with you. And I'm pissed <laughs> off about it. <laughs> you don't want to give me a fair chance. You just want to date every fucking guy down in Florida that yeah. you can. So go ahead and do it. They're cops. Out of the way. Well, not just guys. Don't have anything to worry about with me. Well, you're not in the way. I'm friends with you. Yeah. I know I'm not in the way. Right. So you don't, you, you don't want me in the way. Every fucking time you turn around, you say, well, we're not together and, and you're not giving me a chance. Sounds like she's constantly reminding Lauren they're not together and, and setting boundaries. She just says that, though. Yeah. It's just, it's just her playing hard to get until... Um, Really, what she's waiting on is just Lauren to get his stuff together a little bit more, and she doesn't want to let him know that. She wants him to keep sweating and keep working and keep pushing. That's all she wants. Yeah, so I don't I see any reason for us say, going any further. I wouldn't have to say any of that if you didn't have to go back there every time. Well, you tell me you're not going to give me a chance. I don't see any reason for us to go any further. But yeah. you don't expect that type of stuff from Winnie now. I think she's your friend, isn't she? Yep. Okay. And Emma's your friend. Yep. Okay. So why can't I be your friend? Emma, Emma was married when the di- the difference between those married. two women is okay. Lorne had Lorne had another woman always right after them. If he had another woman waiting for him right now, he would have been friends with her. Yeah. So, I, you know what I mean? This is like his yeah. last chance because he fucked it up with Winnie. Yeah. Exactly. And, and I think. Winnie at this point was with uh was with Will. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so we had no he had no fallback. Right. So that's why he's now mad and he can't be her friend. Cause he wasted his in his mind, he might have wasted his last chance at, at marriage by getting rid of Winnie. And now Winnie's off the market. He knows he can't be with Ember and Debbie's out here with all these fucking cocksuckers. Yeah, just sashaying around all these yeah. dukes and princes. Sashaying <laughs> Fine. And I don't but and I don't date married women. Yeah. I didn't know Winnie was Are you wasn't married. Me that you didn't if I knew try. if I knew Winnie wasn't if I knew that Winnie was married, I never would have dated Winnie. Don't okay, fuck a kid, but, but he's not gonna break up a marriage. But I did. <laughs> right. Right. And then you happened. And you got me away from Winnie. I didn't get you away from anyone. Why is it yeah, that you're the you only did. person who has no free will? Why? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I think why would you still? You, why would you I, fucking I don't deny that think, shit? I don't think that you really wanted to be with Winnie anymore. I think you were sick of her. I think she was driving you insane. I was sick of her bullshit. I right. Her. I was sick of her. I was sick of her bullshit. Yes, exactly, and that's why you wanted to go. <laughs> But you're the one that got me away from her. Oh, my God. I didn't get you away from anything, Lauren. Still fucking deny it. Unfucking believable. Oh, my God. It really is unfucking believable, isn't it? It's the fucking vortex. It is. It I wish you could hear you. Yeah. We're at the epicenter. We're at the, the eye of the hurricane. 37 minutes of one. This is worse than the um than the other. The one that we did last week where he just kept asking the same thing over and over again. But this one is just for a chance. He just wants a chance. Give him a fucking chance. He'll break her down eventually. She'll give it to him. She'll give him that chance. You love me, don't you? That's what he's going to do. This man is White Urkel. 
I wish you could hear yourself. I can. Yeah, you can, and you I'm don't seem to fucking understand how, how much you're fucking lying about shit. I gotta find family. Well, is the Family Matters I'm streaming on something? I gotta start watching this show so I can get these references. Yeah, dude, you could watch it on, on YouTube like I told you two weeks ago. They're just all like some Indian channels just constantly are uploading Family Matters episodes. I don't know why. <laughs> They're just there. They want to know what a black life in America was like. <laughs> it was just if you want to know what black life in the 90s was like for Americans, watch Family Matters. Uh, I couldn't sum it up better than that. TLI, is there anything we can watch to live learn what life is like for you other than those Taliban videos that Al Qaeda kept releasing? <laughs> Honestly, that and just like read Osama bin Laden's manifesto. <laughs> it's been floating around TikTok. Just find it on there. <laughs> floating around TikTok. <laughs> you guys got it? All right. No, you're not being too cool. I have, and you're denying it. When I say that there was flirting at the beginning that got out of hand, I've never, ever got out of hand my before. Ass. I've never, I'm telling you, you why are you telling me that what I'm saying isn't true? You're picking and choosing what you want to be doing. You knew what you were doing. Like last night? You knew what you were doing. You knew what fucking time it was. You knew what time it was. You said you were going to call me last night. You were on your fucking date. Your date wound up being more important than me. It's like the night before. My life is more important than you, Lauren. I can do whatever I want with it. Yeah, you, you are not more important go, than the things that I want to do. Go get your dates. Go get your dates and have your fuck time with them. Fuck don't want to give me a chance and don't need for us to go any further. Dude, you're so fucking stupid. You are one massive pile. Oh, God. What? <laughs> it's not fuck time yet, so I want to talk to Aww. you. No, like, why? You, you don't you don't have your date and you haven't showed up yet? No, I'm not going out tonight. No, just, on, just last night. So you had your yeah, fuck time last night. I went out last night. So you had your fuck time last It's night. none of your business what I did. Yeah, well, give him a fucking call. Go fuck him again for all I care. No, you do care. You're probably going to cry about it. So instead of that, why don't we just stay on the phone and we can work this out? What's it to work out, Debbie? You don't want to give me a fucking chance. I ain't going to fucking cry, cry and fucking whimper over you. He does later in this I'm going to fucking damage you fucking done. I don't want you to cry. Go get your fucking date. I want you to be a man. And hang up the phone like a baby. What? Why do you keep answering if you don't want to talk to me? Why do you keep calling if you want to go fuck somebody else? I told you that I'm not going out. Well, it was just last night. I went out last night, yes. What's the big deal? Whatever. You want to give every guy down there a fucking chance? Don't want to give I don't chance. give every guy down here a chance. Well, you don't give me a chance either, so that's my problem. That is your problem because you sound crazy. Yeah. I'm not crazy at all. Crazy like a fox. No, you really are, though. Because I'm no, explaining I'm stuff to you, and I'm actually trying yeah. to be a nice person to you, and you can't have that. And I'm explaining stuff to you, too. You just want someone to be on the phone and be like, I love you, Lauren. You could be like, I love you, baby. <laughs> and all Quit of that him. stuff. I can She's not wrong. <laughs> you just want to be on, on the phone with someone all the time. That's why you Right, it's clear she's attracted to him. <laughs> That's, that's yeah. You just want to be on the phone with anyone. That's all you care about. It's just quantity time for you, Lauren. Yeah, I know. So fucking give me a chance. <laughs> all the time. I want you in person, but you don't want to fucking be in person. Right. I you don't want to hide yourself. No, I don't want to wanna, hide myself. Yeah, I don't do. have to. He just can't believe. You don't even send me a, send me a, send me a fucking picture of you. Doesn't doesn't find him don't tell me you don't want to fucking hide yourself. Well, I feel like Warren would... thinks every woman wants to be with him. Do you really think he feels? I don't understand where he would get that from, though. I don't know, but he, he like cannot believe it. If you're just like, no, I don't think you're attractive, and I, and your personality is shit, and I don't want to be with you. He, he cannot believe it. Or he can't believe that, like, even if she did say at one point that she thought he was like cute or whatever. That after like getting to know him, she can't possibly you'd be like, oh, actually, you know what, this guy's kind of no good. Yeah. Well, oh, go ahead, T.L. I thought you were gonna say something. Oh, I, I, I'm just saying, like his his ego is like a it, it's like a curse from God. It, yeah. It's like yeah, it's like <laughs> it's, have... it comes from nowhere and, and and makes him look like a fucking idiot at every turn. How do you still have that ego though after everything that he's? And it's not like at one time he was this 
highly right. in demand single this catch and he's still living in the past like this has never been this man's life right history has shown that no woman's ever wanted to be with you no i and think his mom probably told him he was cute and he just been running with that for life for life yeah i mean that that's the and, most that's the most realistic and then the, no one ever told him he was ugly so yeah I go around, go around, around just saying people that. ugly. They yeah. are. <laughs> I don't know if anyone told you or not today, but you are ugly. And then just walk away. Just walk Has away, anyone ever told you your head's flat? Anyway. <laughs> Listen, from behind, you are extremely ugly. And then <laughs> when you turned around, even more ugly. You look like a so, live action Squidward. I just so. wanted you to I just wanted you to know that you are very ugly from the front <laughs> and from the back. Anyway. Have a good day. Anyway. Have a good day with your kids. <laughs> Look what you've done. It's, it's just like that Doja Cat song. If it's ugly from the front, wait till you see it from the back. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know any Doja Cat songs. So I'm a, I'm Ooh, a, you got You got some stuff you to do after this. That. No, I'm a. Um, have you heard? Don't of do it, Wes. Don't do it, Wes. Have you heard of Sika? That's music. <laughs> her newest videos, her YouTube shorts that are like, um, oh, oh my god, when she sent the the pay pig one. Yes. But then didn't show any proof that those people actually sent her the money? You don't need proof. All you, you don't need proof. Um, and speaking of things that don't make sense, we've got a, a quick Broarin video. Oh, hot fuck yeah. And fresh. Jack, we're going to hit the scene. We're going to take over. That's what we need to do. All the way live, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to go straight in, maneuver through, work it all out, work it all the way out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not really. Lately, I haven't been understanding everything you've been saying. I don't, I'm not getting it sometimes. <laughs> know what to say. You need some knowledge, uh, comprehension, you need to go back to school. I'm always schooling myself. You're the idiot. I, you guys I, I can't. Wow. What do you think? That instrumental was fucking grating. <laughs> It what, was definitely what, loud. What, I couldn't hear what yeah. he was saying. It's always like he, because he, look, the guy's multi talented, so he makes music and he does acting, so he's got to put them both in the same thing. You need and to go you, back to school. I'm, I'm, you're the idiot. If, if you're, I'm always schooling myself. <laughs> so like, if the music was too quiet, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to hear the music. And then they end so abruptly too. We leave your audience wanting more. We gotta work it out. We got to work it all the way out. <laughs> I don't understand. I love the pacing of everything he does. It's all so bad. I don't understand what you're talking about. All right, let's continue on, Lauren. Or look what you've done without meeting you know, good, you know, goddamn well, I'm not going to fucking hunt you down and try to find you. No, I know that you're not going to. You don't have the resources yeah, to do that. You can't travel. And I wouldn't do afraid. it anyway. I'm not afraid. I don't. I wouldn't fear. do it anyway. I'm, That's the fucking I'm doing point. it so that this doesn't go further to where nope. you are going to be like, oh, you showed me a picture, so therefore you must like me. You must think I'm special. I don't want to uh, go I'm there. I'm doing this. As, I'm doing this so it doesn't go further either, because you've, you've done enough fucking damage. Yeah. You don't want me. You want to have your fucking guy down there. You, you can go on a fucking Again, date whatever. I don't. I mean, seriously, why do we have to keep going through this? Why? Because you don't want to give me a fucking chance. I'm not hanging around. Well, you actually dude, calm down. don't want to be my friend? No. Is, is you're, you're, you're the one that did, did all the fucking damage. You don't want me to help you the way that I've helped you all of this time? You're the one that did all the fucking damage, Debbie. But why? Why can't we Don't be keep friends? fucking denying bullshit. Why can't we be friends, Lauren? Why? Why would I want to be? When you tell me that you don't fucking, that, that, that you get me away from fucking Winnie, then all of a sudden you tell me you, you don't want anything to do with me? 
Fuck you. I'm worth a lot fucking more than that. Well, then prove it. Oh, prove it. No. Do you why? Right. You don't fucking want me anyway, remember? Right, I don't. But that doesn't mean All right, there's not goodbye. some drunk hillbilly loser that has no teeth I'd want you. Well, you really oh. don't want him. Oh, yeah. Nikki had black what? teeth, he said. And Nikki she was... didn't want him. Nikki, Nikki was, was the, gas, the gas station woman. The one who had to call, get the restraining order or the potential yeah. restraining order because he wouldn't yeah. leave her alone. Yeah, and the prostitute didn't want him or the shed. Yeah, that was a so. double rejection. So Tiffany was even giving him too much credit. Why are you being such a douche? Because you're being a bitch to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm being nice to you. No, no, you're not. Have you ever had anyone who actually fought to be your friend, who argued with you to be your friend? <laughs> anyone? I deserve a fucking chance, and I'm pissed off at you about saying you know you wouldn't give me a chance. They'd be pissed no. off at me. That's fine. It doesn't doesn't mean I have to have you in my life either, because that makes it worse. Because then I Why have to fucking talk to you and know. Because I would feel because more it's... comfortable talking to you if I didn't have to feel like I had to walk on eggshells. And be careful what I say because you're gonna pick out every little thing. Be like, "Oh, you're going on a date, aren't you?" And then you get all mad. Then I get nasty text messages and voicemails. I don't need to go through any of that. Yeah, well, you think I need to fucking know that you're going on a date and fucking meet somebody and you go fucking them? Well, here okay, I am, so fucking like, still loving you. I don't so fucking like, need that. What if right now, after he says this thing, she's just like, "All right, fine, I give you a chance." Then, then what? Do they just start talking like normal? Like, does he just go into closet talk again? He'd certainly try. Yeah. Because what, if she were to give him a chance right now, I don't know, understand how that would be. Like, you had to fight for two hours for her to agree to reluctantly give you a chance and he would be, like, stoked on that? Well, yeah. It just seems so weird. Yeah, because she's going she's gonna to get get out of her own way, you know, and and they can go right back to all the closet talk and drywall talk and getting to know each other because really the only commitment is needed is for her to stop making herself available to other guys. Nothing has to change about what Lauren is doing. So then like instantly they would just start texting like normal and pretend this whole thing didn't happen. Yeah, because she would just, and then she just would cut the outside distraction. I don't know. Everything I just feel like I don't know what he's trying to fight for at this point because if she doesn't want to give you a chance, why would you keep begging for a chance? Like you said, he had this was his last chance at the time. He didn't have any other. He had no one in his uh, in his minor leagues. He had no one to call up. This this was it. That shit. And you don't want to give me a chance. And I know goddamn well I'm not fucking ugly. Yeah, tell I don't give a fuck what you say about that. Okay, You're fine. fucking blind to that. That's your own fucking problem. It's not mine. But I'm not. I don't have to fucking stand around. In the, stick around for somebody that thinks I am ugly. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that think you're ugly and you have to stand around them. So you can be on the phone with yeah. me. I, I can fucking pick other shit on with people too. Other people too. Oh, tell her. Like what? I, I haven't met any one fucking person in the world that's been perfect. No, there's nothing. Yeah, that, in, that includes you. That includes you. <laughs> Burn. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh. so he still wants to be with her, but then he also immediately wants to insult her. Not well, yeah, because she's hurting him, so he has to get her back. He's gonna get her back. That's how you prove that you're a that you're a viable partner for someone. Yeah, it's called <laughs> negging. Have you ever read the yeah. game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if if she is deciding between you and a couple of other so called cocksuckers, the best way to get her on your side is to insult her, insult her choices, and call her a whore. Yeah, has that not worked for you ever? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it did. It ended with a court case. Um, <laughs> 20 restraining order, you filthy whore. <laughs> the close to it has been mom. Mom. I knew that was coming. <laughs> You're fucking right. I love my mother. Yeah, moms are I awesome. know you do. You spend so much time with her. I know. She doesn't fucking judge people off a look. You spend so much actually, time with her. Actually, it's really some, nice how you go some. over her house every day and make sure she's good. I spend a lot of time with my mom. Yeah. You never spend time over here. That's what she said. Well, no, I, I see her all the time. 
She wouldn't have said that. So she's a liar. <laughs> Why is one of the walls here at the police department a green screen? Is this so they could put like Lauren in space and shit? Like, <laughs> I, I wish they would have taken this picture like in front a of Sears that. portrait studio. <laughs> it's like that that mountain background behind them. <laughs> The lasers from the fucking like the yearbooks when I was a kid. That's what uh, I'm just. Why did why, I wonder why? Why do they have that green wall right there? Just to liven up the area. You don't want it to look like a prison. <laughs> get in front of the green screen, Lord. <laughs> We're gonna get some B-roll for to catch a predator. I don't need to be over, or I'll see her. Well, where are you gonna see her? Yeah, you see do. her in other places. Like what? The fair. The, that's not. That's not the fucking point. The fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I thought oh, you were gonna God. stop smoking. I am. It's not so easy to stop smoking. I thought you were gonna do that for Winnie so that you could give her a kidney. Now she has to keep moving that magnet. Have you told her? Iron Man. I am. I am trying to stop. It's not easy to stop. But you're not stopping. So have you told her not to be? I'm not stopping, but I've cut. Date? I've cut back. I've cut back. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her that we're going to move the date back. She knows, she understands already that it's hard to quit. Oh, she knows that she's going to have to move the date again because she was really happy the last time that you said, this is the date. This is when I'm doing it. Well, you can I go know. a year from now. I know. But I got things in my life that are a little stressful. And Yeah, she does too. But I've cut back. Kidney is not going to hang on forever. I know. While well, you're healthy, why don't you give her one of yours? You're... <laughs> wow. I love the transactional nature of giving someone a a, a fucking organ. Yeah, you got uh, one. You got one? Fucking talk to me. But, you know, he, he promises it to her as a gesture of love and, and selflessness. But then he's not going to stop smoking because his life is stressful. Like, bitch, she needs an organ. In, in your understanding, she needs an organ to live. But your life is so stressful, you you can't stop smoking. The same shit you've been talking about since Kayla, when you told Kayla you were going to stop smoking. Does he ever quit when you're talking to him, uh, Blue Boy? Does he ever quit at all, or is it just more talking about quitting? He has said he's, he's quit before. I don't know if... He, I don't think he actually did it, but... He did do a fairly decent job at hiding it until one day he sent a video to Jamie and you can see the cigarette smoke like coming from the lens. Oh, that's when she calls him out for the ciggy smoke. Yeah. So he had been hiding it for how long? Months? Weeks? Probably weeks. And then I think at another point, I don't, it might have been all Death Reborn. I don't know if it was the same time or not, but I think he tried to lie. And then we said that we can see the reflection of the cigarette in your sunglasses. And that's when he came true. Like, he admitted that he was smoking. And he's also done it plenty of times. He's like, I'm not smoking, but you hear you hear him calls all the time when he sparks the lighter. Yeah. Or that could be me. Uh, and then you can complain. Yeah, if you, yeah, guys, if you don't like the sound of me um, of me smoking, please feel free to leave a comment telling me not to do it. Because that's <laughs> my favorite thing. That'll um, get you to stop. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't smoke so you can please your fans. Just do that. That's how you talk to adults. That's how adults. That's how adults do things. But um, yeah, he's. I don't think he's ever actually. He's never tried to quit. I don't think. Okay, and also, did you guys? Um, I don't know if we mentioned it or not, but make sure you guys join the Monegro's Discord. Uh, brought to you by Blue Apron, prizes, <laughs> games, and more. And congratulations, of course, to Noel, the Monegro's uh, Discord member of the week. Congratulations, Noel. What does Noel get for being the 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 Monegro's Discord member? Whatever they vote, whatever they voted on in the poll, I don't, I don't, I didn't see. I don't, there were a lot of votes last my check, so whatever, whatever it was, whether it was the uh, the the PS whatever that was or the I don't remember. We'll have to check. But anyway, guys, yeah, make sure you check that out. Link is in the description. Your sister. I can't. Why can't you? Because her body will reject mine. How do you know that? Because I've already been tested. You don't think so that I've been brother? tested for my sister? <laughs> We've all been tested. What about your brother? Yeah, what Who I, the yeah. hell knows what planet Winnie came from? None of us are matches. Of course just you did you, that more. <laughs> did you think they wouldn't <laughs> check that first? Yeah, yeah they just okay, depended well, on more. I'm telling you now. The fact is, she would be so incredibly happy if she could have yours. Give him a chance yeah, and he'll give her the kidney. Yeah. Oh, he gets, That's he what Lauren should have said. 
give me a chance and you get the kidney. Yeah, like hold it for ransom. Yeah, like you want you want your sister not to die, then you better give me a fucking fair chance. This is a new genre of porn being born right before our eyes, right here. Fucking for organs. B- blackmail porn. No one's doing. Well, I'm saying specifically with porn. <laughs> Blackmail porn, but no black males. I was gonna exactly. say blackmail porn exists. Minus the black, and but it's like, uh, oh my god, doctor, I have to get on that liver transplant <laughs> list. Like, well, here your number sixty nine on the list. You're not gonna make it. Oh, doctor, how do I get to number one? And then the music starts. He's like, you should have gotten we better like insurance. <laughs> They always said the medical system would fuck me in the end, and then guess what happened? <laughs> then guess and then what it happened? Yeah. yeah, it fucks. It fucks. <laughs> this sounds great. We gotta write this. And then they play a boring track as the <laughs> the music in the background. You got to move. <laughs> Step up your game. Step up your game. <laughs> Step up your life. The idea of having part of me and her. Oh my god! Yeah, it's never gonna happen though because you can't just stop smoking. Well, you can't just stop. It's hard to just it stop. Work that way. That's why they invented things to try to get to help people stop. Then you then get those things that you are stopping, and that that was the date. Well, they've been moved back a bit, but I'm trying, I'm trying very hard. I've gotten yeah, it to sounds cut like down. it. Sounds like it. I've got down. I. Cut him some slack, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that you told her that you're kidding. You've made that promise a million times, and you can't stick This is the love of your life we're talking about. Here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He's gonna try. I'm, okay. I'm trying very hard. He's thinking about trying to quit. And that's pretty good. <laughs> like how you mentioned, there are things, it's hard. There are even things out there to help people quit. Bitch, do you have any of those things? <laughs> you're just you're just saying you're aware these things exist, but you have none of these things. He asked Jamie once if he should get, is it Chantix? Yeah, I think that's one of them, Chantix. And uh, I don't think he ever did it. But he's aware of it. But And that's, I mean, if you know it's out there, then why do you have to do it right now? Exactly. He knows it, when it gets bad enough. When he's yeah. ready, when when his when his life is done, as soon as life is done being stressful for Lorne, then he's gonna stop smoking. That's how Lorne thinks. It's you can always just do it later. It's not yeah. going anywhere. The only thing he can't do later is find love. That's well, the only thing he has any interest in doing right now is <laughs> finding love. I can't start building my house tomorrow, but the day after, oh, that's such a great call when he's talking to Casey about how he's going to start building this house and he wants her to draw it out with him. And she, and she's like, well, what are you going to build it? He's like, well, I want it done for winter. So I can't start tomorrow, but I'll start the day. after." <laughs> winter was like four months away. <laughs> <laughs> build an entire house. He's got a pile of lumber in the yard. and He's going to build the whole house. <laughs> I think his plan was at one point to like take the trailer apart and then build a house with the materials from the trailer. It was ridiculous. Isn't that how they like built their, shelter on the Oregon Trail when they would like turn their yeah. cabins into like yeah like, I think when they yeah when they got to California during the gold rush and shit I'm pretty sure their stagecoaches were used to, to build houses this man is on the Oregon he's gonna die of dysentery isn't he <laughs> yeah sounds like you're trying to back off on going on a date too why would I have to because you want no. one now. we're in fucking any guy down there you want Right, I can because I'm an adult woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you already did. Yeah, and you can fuck whatever guy you want too. Oh, you'll never find me fucking a guy. I'm like the date that you had last night. You can. Damn. Oh, you'll never find me fucking a guy. Silly, silly brain of yours. Well, tell me why it is you you judge you judge people off of looks all the time. I that really stung for him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It seems awful funny that you're constantly saying something to me about look. Your, well, yeah, your personality is also you, hideous. But though. I don't say that to anyone else. I wouldn't want to hurt their feelings. Okay, so what about what about that girl that had Winnie's phone when she invited you to go swimming? Oh, yeah, Linda. That was different. Why was that different? Because Why was that different? she has meowy eyes, and there was some stuff coming out of it. It's like a... Yeah, I, I understand that it was gross. It was like yellow matter custard dripping out of a dead dog's I eye. Understand. 
I understand that it was gross. Beatles reference. And I was yeah, on the phone with her when you came up. I was right. on the phone with her when you he, he came up because she was, she was all excited about you coming. How long has Lauren been holding on to this example? A while, but also like if he if she is someone who only cares about looks and that's something that you don't like about her, then why are you fighting so hard to be with this this chick who only cares about how people look? He's willing to look past her flaws because together they're going to be stronger as a unit. All right, Sloth Cat, are you still there? Yeah, I'm always here. Did you finish your donuts? No, I stopped eating them. Sam for breakfast? Did you get another glass of, another glass of room temperature water? No, I just have my steel, my... I freeze my water, so it's always cold. Ooh, do you ever put a Gatorade in the freezer and wait for it to get kind of frosty? No, the Gatorade is disgusting. Oh, so you don't do that? No, Poway. <laughs> what? What? Powerade? <laughs> Poway. Strawberry... Powerade. Powerade. Strawberry so, Powerade. What? Red Powerade. Could you be any more black, Sloth Cat? I'm just wondering. Drinking Powerade. Powerade and plain donuts. They still make that? <laughs> he what soaks mean, the was... donuts in the Powerade in his mouth. <laughs> 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 Those Powerades was on sale the other day. Like three for five. That's a deal. That's just, that's a pretty good deal. All right. Wait, which cut? You like the strawberry one, huh? Yeah, like the strawberry, uh, fruit yeah, the punch. strawberry one. Red, right? Just any red, any no, red, 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 fruit punch. red fruit punch, though. That's fruit punch. Strawberry is to pink. Yeah. Oh. Then there's the blue one. Arctic Blast. <laughs> but anyway. And she didn't even realize the stuff was coming out of her eyes. Just she, I think that was the last time I talked to her because that was, that was when you and I first started out. Oh. Anyway. It upset me a little bit because of what she said that she was going through with her roommates, that her roommates were picking on her. Well, why did you stop talking thing. to her she was not. if you felt so bad for her? She didn't, she didn't have the phone anymore. Oh, uh, but you still would have? I still would have talked to her. But what call is this? She also started coming this, on, too. The call about, I don't, know. I don't know if that one was ever released. I don't remember that call with, with that girl with the Maui eye or anything. I don't know if that one was ever released. Yeah, I've never heard that one. Um, Sloth, TLI, have you heard it? No. No, not that I remember. All right. So, yeah, I don't I don't ever remember it being released. I do know. I, I've asked Tiffany about it, and she talked about what Lauren, like this, this little situation here. But, yeah, I just don't think it was. Uh, I don't even know who played whoever they're talking about. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you like it, though. You may pretend like you don't at the very beginning, but then you give in, just like with Rhoda. No, I didn't. No, I'm going to give in. That's the reason I stopped talking to her. I wasn't going to. What is your hang-up with wasn't and weren't? Because you don't use them properly. So what? So what? You sound like a fucking moron. <laughs> Maybe I like using them like that. Yeah. It might be, might not be the correct way to say it, but. Who in the fucking United States actually does say anything correctly? Nobody. I have never heard anyone Me? say weren't in the wrong way like you do. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I say in the wrong way. Really? You know, what else do I say in the wrong way? There's a ton of stuff. I can start making a list. But you don't want to be friends with Well, it was that time he tried to say no to Kayla, and instead he said yes, and then he <laughs> broke to the sting house and got arrested. That was weird. That was That was different. <laughs> So I'm sure that this is the last conversation we'll ever have. Well, you don't want to give me a chance. Just want to no, I don't want. I don't want to date other, you. Uh, yeah, if you wanted yeah. to before, but now you don't. You just want to give every guy, other guy, a chance. Well, every other guy knows how to say weren't and wasn't properly. Oh, so. Well, every other guy likes to cock in pussy. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah, like your date last night. Yep. You seem to be talking about yourself. Lauren made no, up I that the guy was bisexual. Night. No. But I'll, Right? Not just that guy. Not just that guy. Every every guy. Lauren is young. obsessed with this guy from last night being bisexual, but I don't recall her ever saying that. She did, well, she, but she didn't say he wasn't. Oh, that's right. I gotta I gotta remember that. Yeah, until it's confirmed, that dude is a is, loves cock and pussy. He loves both, probably equally. Um, mm -hmm. and she hasn't said no. He's not. I have definitive proof he's not because you know, like so. And, and and any man that she is going to go out with in Florida, chances are very high that that man loves cock and pussy. 
I mean, the Duke of Florida. Yeah, that dude. That dude likes dick. <laughs> yeah, that dude's a dandy. <laughs> yeah, that Nancy boy loves penises. <laughs> I was, one that, about, I was only. You were talking I was about just the one that you were supposed you? to be supposed to be spending time yeah. with the last couple of nights. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, were you talking about yourself? I'm not into cars. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. No, you are though. You must be. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you on that. You're obsessed with us. No. Yeah. Not even. Not even a little bit. No a lot of it. Else. No. That's not the correct way to say that. What? A lot of it. There's no such thing as a lot of it. Not the correct way to say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was saying that as being sarcastic. You say weren't and wasn't in the wrong way because you don't know how to say it in the right way. I think he's falling for him. Yeah, yeah she is. You can tell. Thought is this is because what? I know what I'm saying. Well, no, you don't know what you're saying. That's the point. Well, I weren't concentrating on it. <laughs> I weren't concentrating on it. Exactly. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't concentrating on it. I'm yeah. supposed to say it backwards. I don't want to disappoint you on that. No, you anyway, who are friends? You going to give me a chance? Oh, my God. Holy at fuck, what? dude. Being your friend? Of course. A chance that I was actually you know, dating at some point. No, I can't say that now. Well, I can't say that we're going to be friends either. Okay. That's really too bad. Because that's oh, what really we could be right now, don't... and you don't want to do that. We could date sometime too, and you don't want to give that a chance. No, because I don't know you in that way. Well, you're getting to know me in that way. You're getting it's to know me, but, but you're telling me out straight that you don't want to date me ever. I'm telling you out straight that I don't want to date you. Say what? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Say what? What? I right, might get chopped up a bit because I'm next to a river. Ah, uh, okay. I hope you don't Might even be in. one point. Where, oh, this no. Oh, you Might heard be that. one point about. Yeah, I heard that. You hope I oh. don't fall in. Right. It tells me. It tells me you must care about me because you don't want to. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, dude. I hope you don't fall in. Good lord. Anyone else would take that, even the way she said it. Yeah, it was clearly sarcastic. She would love for him to fall in the river. No, I can tell you. I can tell you must really care about me because you don't want me to fall into the river. Or the. That, who cares? I, there's a lot of people I don't want to fall into the river. It's it's just such a weird. It's, it's like it's clear if someone said they were going to go take a walk off of, on the pier, you're like don't fall off. Like you don't actually say that to someone. Hey, don't fall. Hey, uh, blue boy's like, hey, I'm I'm going to the lake. Hey, blue boy, don't fall in, bro. You could drown and die in right. water. You must really care about me. <laughs> <laughs> Did not want me to drown. Yeah, yeah. damn, I said I didn't know you're fucking gay, dude. <laughs> 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 you guys hear? Did you guys hear? <laughs> Dang, y'all, you heard Wes is gay, dude. He said. Then he said, "Listen." He said, "Don't fall in." You know what that means, right? Because he yeah. wanted to suck my dick. He wanted to suck it, dude. Yes, dude. Jimmy die. I must. So there's a start. Yeah, there's I a start. always said that. I there's a start. You don't want me. That's dead. a pretty low bar. He doesn't Step want one. Me I don't you don't care. Step one. You don't want me dead. Step right. two. I'm up in you. So yep. like Benya, Benya. <laughs> That's your line. That's your. That's what I say. Monique is presented by Blue Boy. I take. I own that line. That's your line. All up in your life. In your bin. You can have. No, because we're not dating. I'm gonna start taking tally of how many times I have to say no. We're not dating. And read off the. How? uh, I've got. I've got to understand this. Okay. How is it? How is it that you was ever gonna marry Gigi? You don't want to give me a chance That's to a date. Question. I had a relationship with Gigi. I don't okay. have one with you. Okay, but why not? I you, you keep pointing that out. Right. You keep pointing out that we're not together. Why is that? <laughs> you keep. I don't understand why you keep going back to this one thing about us not being in a relationship. That's neither here nor there. <clears throat> Jesus. Fifty-two minutes. There is still an hour left. We're, now we're only going to go about three more minutes tonight, uh, but there is still an hour left of this shit. Yeah, damn. You won't give me a chance, and you did before. All kinds of stuff. Yes, you, you did. did. I know. Soon, I think. It's upsetting to me. I, well, don't let it be upsetting really, to you. I really have feelings for you. Oh, baby. 
Yeah. I've never believed in somebody like I believe in. You. Oh. What does that and mean? That really believe in. It means I really believe in you yeah. as a person that you don't play with people. Believe in you means believing in. You. That's why I'm so pissed off. Okay, then be pissed off. That's fine. But you have to understand that the direction that you're coming from is all based on this emotion that you're having. It's not based on anything that I've done. You're just mad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm mad because uh, what you've done. Tell you the truth? You You're pretty good, dog. You Tell me the truth, me, and that's that me on the cover. That I'm honest. Yeah, so I do. I, do, I did want to bring that up. Um, after now, TLI, you weren't here last week when we discovered that uh, there was a magazine called Blue Boy Magazine, and it was uh, it was. It's it was not important, the... but I used to run a gay magazine. We had three and everything, which is crazy. Yeah, and uh, so someone sent this to me. I don't know if he wants to be named, but this one, um, this is the cover. I didn't believe it. I'm going to be honest. I didn't believe it because this doesn't look like the Blue Boy that I've seen before. But then I saw the actual cover after the airbrushing and everything. And uh, and this oh, is true. This is it. <laughs> this is definitely. We found him. Definitely. Now, this was a, I want, I need to find this issue. It's cut off here, but I need to find this issue. This was the issue that exposed Reborn. <laughs> Now I'm hoping it exposed his like him sexually in some way, like he's yeah. naked inside the magazine in a Canadian flag or a mounted uniform with the <laughs> hanging. I mean, it's the original magazine about men. I, I would have yeah. to assume. I'm just saying, like a mounty outfit with this dingling hanging out. That's it's Canadian and it's hot. Um, so yeah, that that's Blue Boy magazine, guys. Check out Blue Boy magazine. We have more of these uh, covers in the Monegros Discord. So make sure you check that out. <laughs> So we are archiving them there. Yeah. Thank God. But yet that's not what you want. Tell me the truth, but then you but then you turn around and you deny things. Mm-hmm. It's like why the fuck would you deny it? No, I'm telling you the way that things were. I'm actually being honest. You don't want to hear it. I don't want to I don't want to hear that there's never gonna be a chance for us to see what's actually there. Well, I don't want you to hold on to this idea and make it your truth because it hasn't happened. No, it has. No, I want. I want to know that there is a chance that it will happen. I want to know that you're gonna. I don't know that. Oh, that's where she fucked up. That's what. That's what I wanted you to to hear you say. Okay, but you're acting. I didn't want. I'm supposed to act. But I didn't want you to come out and say. I didn't want you to come out and say that there's no chance. Lauren, have you ever seen Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, I have. Okay. Do you remember at one point Lloyd is talking to Yeah, I know. There's the one... So you think there's a chance. Right. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. who you are. So you are that guy. Christmas. No, I am not that guy. Yeah. Because that guy's not a This puff. guy actually gives <laughs> that a guy, fuck about you. That guy was that allowed guy to fuck travel. Kids. That guy was allowed to travel from state to state, if I remember the movie correctly, without contacting his probation. Officer. Right, and that guy was make believe. Yeah. <laughs> mm, right. Also, a fictional man. <laughs> Lots of good reasons why that's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this guy has every reason to too. give a fuck about you. Yeah. This right. guy has every reason to give a fuck about you. He does. It's not your looks that he gives a fuck about. He's not basing any. Big on that. I think that everybody's ju- is going to judge somebody off their looks. Pretty like, disgusting. I'm not, I weren't raised that way. I give a fuck about the person. Right. They can be the best looking fucking person in the world. He gives a fuck about a person, but holy shit, did he compliment Kayla on her little 12 year old looks over and right. over again and talk about how pretty she was and, and everything else. But other than that, looks don't matter. Once you're 13 or 14, looks do not matter to Lauren anymore. He wants a person. You guys understand? He really just liked the face, you know. <laughs> she had a pretty face. She had a pretty, had a pretty face. face. But if they're a shitty person on the inside, who the fuck wants to be with them? Boom! Mm-hmm. Take that, Debbie. Right now, you look right. shitty. I never knew exactly what you look. All I was doing was going by what Emma and Dan told me, and Winnie told me, and you told me. Right. So, well, Emma and Winnie told me that Winnie looked like fucking Casey Morrow. <laughs> then why she look like Casey Morrow? What the fuck did they ever get? What? If the looks don't matter, why is he so desperate to get pictures and, and like, pressure people to send him pictures of them? So he can verify that the looks don't matter. <laughs> That's it. 
there? I have no idea. So why should I believe you look like fucking Malibu Barbie? Don't. I don't care. I never, I never went off your looks. Right, because you don't know what I look like. Yeah. Yeah. Other than the picture that your brother had on on there. Right. So yeah, if that's really you on there, then yeah. I'd... Uh, I need to find that. Thumb. Do you guys know what thumbnail he's talking about? No. What did he? It's the, it's the one of uh like like Malibu Barbie. Yes, I've seen that. In jumping in like a uh, the gymnastics, not gymnastics. You know, like the leg gymnastics warmers and things or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I'm jumping on his ass. Jumping on his ass. <laughs> he thinks. Well, that's her. <laughs> oh my god. That's the only only picture I've seen of you was that thumbnail on YouTube. <laughs> jumping over down to my ass. I do know what you look like now. Okay. You look like that. It still fucking throws me for a loop why you wouldn't want to send me a picture if I already know what you look like. Because yeah. you go crazy over things. Yeah, look at I what don't go crazy you. over things. Are you kidding? This whole conversation has been crazy. Pretty crazy. Woman. The million times that you've hung up on me this whole time has been crazy. And I don't want yeah. you jerking off to it. That would be disgusting. Oh, uh, yeah. you give me a fucking break. You I don't use all pictures when I jerk off people. anyway. I don't use it. What? You probably jizzed What'd you all just over the postcard that I sent you. Oh my god! Are you serious? The wish you were here. Glad you're not postcard that she sent him. Because he was That's really. Do you remember how upset he was about that? She yeah. sent me a fucking postcard. Said wish you were here. Glad you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guy, I think we're gonna we're gonna end it there for tonight. Uh, TLA, are you coming back tomorrow, or is stupid Tiffany gonna join us? Uh, tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I'm getting a root canal, so I probably won't. All right, so tomorrow TLI will the be prison engaging dentist. some domestic terror, so he yeah, will not be here, so we will have... be getting the mini Yeah, I'm going to be blowing up a dentist's teeth. office, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> a mini You're going to be building a crockpot bomb. <laughs> a mini palm putting his tooth. <laughs> <laughs> he calls it a root canal. Surprise, doctor. <laughs> Operation root canal. <laughs> All right, well, good uh, good luck with that, TLI. Thank you very much. I hope you spread hate to those decadent Americans. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, you know, th- their their time is coming. Their time <laughs> is coming, and uh, real, and then lastly, we j- we do need to do this uh, for our Bang Bang replay gang. Uh, we're gonna end with we're gonna end with this. Thinking of the holidays, think Bang Bang. That's hot. Ah uh-uh, ah, think boom boom. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's hot. Hot! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, buy one, get three free. Now that's hot! Come see the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. How oh, cool, how huh, hot! Come see Boom Boom for your fireworks at Fireworks Outlet. That's, that's hot. hot! Can't see that black woman's face. I think it's just bad quality. But if you can draw her face. <laughs> If you can draw her face for Black History Month, you win the prize in the Mo Negro's Discord. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you can draw her face and it's accurate, it needs to. But look you have like, to be in the Discord, right? You have to be in the Discord, and uh, and I guess Slothcat, you'll be choosing the winner. Yep, because I know black. You know people. art. You know <laughs> black people's faces. That's yep. that is what they say about you. <laughs> <laughs> All of you, you motherfuckers! Good day, you fucking assholes! Well, that was interesting. Are you through with this nonsense now? The rap so like it. Here's a little story, and you're sure to like it. Swift and slot, and I'm playing it cool with my homegirl. Hold on. Baby, since we never, ever agreed, you like Get together!
ready to have my fang in your mouth. In your mouth. Got the 3D models and all the technicalities. These creeps are gonna think it's an alternate reality. Specialty cameras by Mitchell Wagenberg. Got this covered by more rivals than you ever heard. You got the fat fuck with the headset on his fucking head. The fat fuck with the dumb hat. That's what I fucking said. A decent ball player. His name is Steve Garvey. But fuck it. I want about Dale Harvey, hottest chick alive, yo, she looks like a guy, got a raspy voice and it makes me wanna die, get yourself some nerve ropes and sip on a sun kiss, it's to catch a predator with perverted justice, hold up, pedal, better keep those pants on, stay line, baby, say hello to Chris Hansen, these dudes all know the show, it's a fucking hit, they should've stayed at home, and logged on the pop, that's it, that's it, Decoy 
Why don't you have a seat right there, please? You can sit down. Yeah, have a seat back over there for you. Have a seat over here, please. Go ahead, sit down. Go ahead. Have a seat right over on the stool. Have a seat right there. Why don't you uh, make yourself at home here? Have a seat. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Why don't you sit down? Please sit down. 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 These dudes are rolling through Wanting to get some action from the little girl or boy It feels right Thinking that they'll stick it for the rest of the night Chris Hansen comes around Stops him in the tracks A different decoy Another screen name You know they will be back Do you like any, any? These dudes are rolling through to get some action from the little girl or boy It feels right Thinking that they'll stick it for the rest of the night Chris Hansen comes around Stops him in the tracks A different decoy Another screen name You know they will be back You want to explain yourself? Grab that towel right there, please. Wrap it around yourself and please sit in that stool. What are you doing? You're naked. There's a 14-year-old girl. You're chasing a cat around. You've got Cool Whip. And you want this girl to do some sex act with the cat and then you'll have sex with her. I love to a young man deep and him. Okay. 